the Wileyverse. We're still getting set up. Uh, so, yeah, bear with us. We're uh, I'll run a little bit late today. It's beautiful. What? <laughs> Get out the restrooms. It's beautiful in there. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Nicolette does a great job. Oh, hey! Is that... Is that Wessels? What? Hey, hey, hey! How's it going? I saw you on uh, Destiny earlier for a little bit. Uh, do you still need to get your Arbalist? <laughs> well, hit me up. Uh, you should uh, get that done for you. I need everything. <laughs> get all that done for you. Uh, let's see. right back. No, I don't. Uh, uh, you see this little trash over there? Space out. It's a little. Let's see, it's fixing my setting. Don't go around the crucible. Hello. I'll be. Uh, I could be on like uh, Saturday or Sunday. One of those. One of those days. Actually, Friday might be a really good day for that. I don't know when you off can play, but I'll find you. We got like a Discord, Steam, or something, don't we? <laughs> Everybody does. I roll in the kitty. <laughs> Total party kill. What are, we, what are we gonna do? Because I don't know where the button is for that. Because like, I liked your idea. Are we just the what? I'm trying to think of what the what the plan is tonight. I'm gonna need a recap. Yeah? Wednesdays are just long, fucking crazy days for me. Oh, I. I get to work at 9.45 and not hear anything. What's new? Well, cleaning up the glasses. <laughs> me sitting in the chair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be doing that on the 15th. I'm gonna try to cram in something for a one shot when Mitch is gone for the day. We'll see how that goes. The fun part is you won't know it. Oh, he said he'll see it right there. <laughs> you won't know until he makes the video. Damn it! <laughs> Are you guys doing everything at the same time? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Well, I guess it's, it's, off yeah, time. yeah. That's cool. And my plan is to resurrect all your dead characters and then make them fight each other in an arena. And then everyone's going to have to roll on how well they gamble on uh, the lives of Isarok and 
and um, your pyro. Yeah, that's from two different games. Is it? What's my pyro? What is that? From um, Iggy. Yeah, it's from really FC. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. What? It'll be crossover episode. Why is there no technology? They don't mess everything up. <laughs> it's, it's a collaborative thing. Turn on our DJ oh. Magic Dragon. Okay. <sighs> no, no. We mess up. We mess them up all the time. What do we mess up? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Games and plans. We're like, oh, I wrote everything that's gonna be around that door. <laughs> we go to a different location. I'm like, son of a bitch. Everybody's drinking water tonight. Um, unless someone wants to make a beer run. I, mean, I think it's just because there's a lack of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will do that if you want me to, but you have to give me money to do it. I have Canadian money. Life is rough. <laughs> you, get, have... you have to get Molson with it. Quarters. <laughs> Damn. What do you want? I'll take the 50. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, not IPAs and I want change. No, yes. the 50 is the Uber Eats. Uh, are you really going to run for us? No, 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 yeah, for give sure. me the 20. What do you want? Give me the 20. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Get, get beer, something nice, <laughs> no <laughs> IPAs. No IPAs, something. Just give me something super Guinness specific. Guinness is always great. Get Guinness. Okay. Bottles of Guinness. Guinness. Not stout, draft. You mix those two oh, up. So the best the to go night. No, there's the uh, Safeway or fries that's fries. one block away from us. Yeah, it's that yeah, one. Or the Walgreens. Or rather, the Walgreens has my feature oh, tonight. Walgreens, Walgreens has liquor too. I think. Say hello. That one has liquor to do it. Is that one? Yes, that one has liquor. <laughs> is it open 24 hours a day? <laughs> no. But then it doesn't have liquor. I was going to go to the fries. If they sell liquor, they're open 24 hours. They do have liquor yeah, and they're not open 24 hours. That's weird. Yeah. Either the fries of Pantano or the Sunday. All right. Get oh chips. yeah, there is a there is an unseen lady, but she is <laughs> she is leaving. Uh, that's Kaylin. This is a, a uh, time honored de- Dungeons and Dragons tradition. <laughs> uh, she <laughs> will. Woman that goes uh, she does. This she is. is all that leaves. <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, going to be playing uh, in our fifteenth game. Yeah. When Mitch is out of town, we're gonna have a one shot. And by fifteenth game, they mean May the fifteenth. May the fifteenth, because it's May first, the fifteenth. I only get one shot. Um, Don't miss your time to glow. <laughs> so, welcome to the Wildiverse, everybody. And by everybody, I mean Wes. It's a fetch Thanks quest for your mom's spaghetti. Uh, we are running Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition in the Forgotten Realms world. Uh, my Forgotten Realms world. A little bit different. With me, as always, is Robert down at the end playing Rofrost the Undaunted. Uh, Dragonborn Paladin <laughs> of Bahumat. Yeah, he's got a really cool stick. <clears throat> he's got a really cool stick now. Uh, next to him is... Mitch. Mitch is playing Xeranax, a dragonborn arcane trickster and the worldly one of the group. I've just been outside of our hometown. Dayton is here playing Savroth, the lord of the clan, or a lord of the clan, and with a big sandwich. Who also has a really cool stick, but I have no idea what that thing thing does. Cast light. That's yeah. one thing you saw. Shiny, yeah. Um, like that ring he in the is a cleric of Bahumat, uh, also Dragonborn. Everyone plays Dragonborn. Uh, that This is a Dragonborn campaign. They're trying to save their homeland. I am Wiley, the DM, and I also run the NPC Ayasa, who is an idiomatic wizard that pretty much stays silent until I need to tell the players that they're being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and then she does it in dumb ways, so it's ineffective. Right. And they don't care anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Shut up, uh, Never take hints from the GM. <laughs> yes, two weeks from today, we're going to do that. Uh, so our group is a bunch of Dragonborn. They're trying to save their homeland. Uh, their homeland is run uh, is in danger by a, <coughs> a nation that is run by a tyrant demigod. <clears throat> and he is sided with the uh, wearers of purple, the dragon cult, who are trying to summon back Tiamat, uh, which would be very bad for them because Tiamat would stop them out of existence. So they have gone on this quest to find something to save them, and they kind of got some some hints and some clues along the way about what to do with that, and they ended up finding a piece of metal that defies explanation. Uh, it's possibly 
sent here by Bahuman himself. They, it has all the properties of platinum and adamantium, so they coined it platamantium. They were clever. It was very clever. Uh, they then knew they had to forge it, so they went to find a forge that could That's a good handle it, first off. I mean, this is a god metal. It needs a god forge. So they had to find a map. They found a thing to ignite the forge. They found a group to help them ign- uh, forge the weapon. Whoa. They got them to the forge, and they forged the damn thing. And it is a 14-foot-long lance. 14 feet? Yeah. I was wondering, because the handle, because I was like, well, that's a The whole, handle like, is 8 the, feet. Yeah. And then the weapon itself is 6 feet. And then... So... And these guys let me let Rofas have it. Yeah. Uh, it's so a 14-foot I mean, lance. Uh, because I cannot pick it up. If you haven't seen it, <laughs> here is the image of it. Bing! That's just the weapon itself. The handle extends past. Uh, uh, so you see here this? Oh. Yeah. Uh, and is, now they have awesome. to kind of, like, they have to baptize it. They have to quench it. They have to kill an evil dragon with it. That's the next part of the quest. Uh, and they also have to get it blessed by a god. By a god? Okay, I was wondering if I, uh, if I was yeah. imagining so you, that. You pretty part. much have to, like, you're going to have to find a chosen or an avatar or find a shrine or someplace that's connected directly to a deity. Good, obviously, and one that will do this for you to bestow your quest. So. Also, we only need the dragon's blood. We need to kill it. No, no, no. You need to kill it. You, you need, need to, to kill a dragon. Not be enough. Slave Slave to to right. I speak <laughs> yeah, you need to kill a evil dragon with it. That's quenching it. For the blessing, do you think people, do you think other people, do you, or do you think people at all worship this, uh, worship Bahama? Do you think there's temples or other? You'd have homes? to research that, yeah. Because you guys so. definitely wouldn't know because you don't really worship him like others would worship him. Yeah. You venerate him, not worship him. Like, are we just crazy? Are we the only ones who who says that this god exists? Yeah. Very nice. Uh, So, you are in this dungeon in the Great White North, uh, Icewind Dale. There's a a tribe of cannibalistic crazy orcs above you. There are there's a dwarven contingent you brought down here, a dwergar contingent that you found here, uh, and you know that if you go back out to the Great Right North, if you go back out to Icewind Dale, first you're gonna have to trek through all that snow again, get back down to the Sword Coast somehow, and it's middle of winter now, so almost all the passes and everything are gonna be frozen solid. I forgot about that bit. <laughs> and you know that Iron Master is not going to let you use their port, and there <laughs> are oh, well, right. Well, we were we were bringing <laughs> troubles, you know. Yeah. And oh, it's, it's, they have, it's a, it's a there are other there's... ports, but most everything up there is going to be frozen over. So you're not going to get a boat out of here <laughs> until the winter. You're not going to you're going to have to travel through frozen passes and all that. It's going to be a big pain in the ass. But you also know that Lord Crane, the Red Dragon, that trying to mess with you earlier, knows you're up here, has sent a white dragon and one of his minions to find you, and they're up there. Yeah. <clears throat> the, we can do the crazy spooky <laughs> deep into the cave way. So the Dwergar have given no. you two... Uh, the Dwergar have given <laughs> you two other options. Yeah, so, uh, the Dwergar say you could come down with them to the Underdark and help them fight a Mind Flayer with his black... Wait, dragon. They're going to go down there and do it? They're going to go do it. That, that's what they were up here doing. I do not want them to think we are pussy. No. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now remember that wager you had. <sighs> you yeah, won the I right to not do that. Like, yeah. they were going to force you to do yeah. that. Yeah. Now, if you turn around and do it anyway, that's awesome of you. Uh, I'm that's going awesome to, of you. But I also going to tell you awesome. that... That's, that's insane. Uh, you don't know anything about dwarf or so. Uh, they're a different kind of dwarf. They seem honorable. They, they, they came to the terms. They, they made me. Upon. They made me bet not being sent to our death. In <laughs> our for deaths. Us. They. Nothing can stop the third us. option. You have been killed more than any of us. Now I have this. <laughs> <laughs> the third option is. Uh, they will show you a path that takes you to the southern side of the mountains and back to the Sword Coast. You can get out of Icewind Dale. Completely through an underground tunnel. 
And that's the one that takes us to, like, kind of where the white dragon's going to be? Or no, or that, that would be going, there. like, yeah. So, again, like, you're at the very top of this entire world. Yeah. Uh, and there's a, a line of mountains up there that is just formidable, especially in winter. If you go back the way you came, you come out up north. And you're going to have to figure out a way back around these mountains somehow to get back south. But that's where the white dragon is. That's where that gnome purple dragon, or sorry, wearer of purple... Uh, the dragon cult guy is, is trying to chase you down from Lord Crane. Wow. Uh, so they're up there. But you could just go under the mountain, come back down near Mirabar, maybe. Uh, you don't know where it's going to let you out. But that's where Gontelgrim is. That's where Neverwinter is. Yeah. Uh, it gets you back down to where you were. <sighs> I think more travel through these lanes is dangerous. We're going to need to get back down to the sword coast anyway. That white dragon's, that Lord Crane's pet will follow us. If that's what it's commanded to do, so we can at least not step into an ambush, I suppose. You know what we should do is just march right down to the Great Peaks, go to Lord Crane's castle, and just start banging on his doors. Let him come to us instead of him just laying in a little trap. So just go right up. This is a fever dream. Hmm. I mean, that is... If he is from the Option Great Peaks... Four. <laughs> if he is from the Great Peaks, he is a red dragon. Probably likes his lair. You know, like, you know you have to kill a dragon with it. That's a bold damn move, but... You could... That could be the dragon you choose to go kill. Rofress might be feeling a little cocky. This thing <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the weapon's badass. I say we have it's, turkey. I don't board, know if you were so. here when he got it last week, but it's ridiculous. Turkey board. <laughs> there was a half second where I was like, "That wow, my ass has got a lot of spells." <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't so, have them all. I will. I'm glad we listened to arguments for the other options, but... <laughs> Although returning to the top is treacherous and cold, <laughs> I loathe more travel in these caves. These mines, despite our guide's insistence, they know their way. Oh, well, they won't be there. Fun. They're just going to point you down Without a tunnel. Without guides, this will be difficult. <laughs> They're going to point you down a tunnel and say, just keep walking. <laughs> It seems the easiest route, but you go unassisted Correct. deeper through the ca- through the mine system. Through the upper dark, which is Let's like there is a whole other world underneath mm-hmm. the world you know, and it is dark and deadly and evil. It's probably filled with riches. Also, oh, what what would be your not easy route? What are you leaning toward then? Oh, like, as I said, face this mind flare with the no. Flare I said we, we can return from whence we came back to the top through our previous entrance and be where we started with Dragon in pursuit. Mm. Bro Frost, what say you? <sighs> munch, munch, munch. <laughs> Oh, boy, I would like to. I would like to kill. Why does Savrat have more rations than us? <laughs> <laughs> Summon food and water. What is that yeah, right. His name? You're, you're secretly your your druid from <laughs> Dark Sun. Yeah, really. His yeah. weapon is badass. I think actually I have those spells if I wanted to. You do, yeah. I mean, they're in your prayer book. You know them. You just I like think, prepare them. I think slaying Icewing would send a nice message to Lord Crane that we're not fucking around. However, the thing is in its elements, we'll be walking directly into its own trap, its ambush. I believe it will follow us. I think we could just go out through the southern, the upper tunnels. The upper dark tunnels. How can you ambush if I'm aware of your presence? <clears throat> The dragons are clever, aren't they? Aren't we dragonborn? We are nothing like that. Oh, well, I mean... Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Reverse it. <laughs> we are nothing like the things that we kind of are like. The thing this, this guy's, itself, this tire itself This out. guy's name up here. We've let it just rest this whole time. Mm. Where is it? What? Huh? I was looking at the ticker. 
That's the top. Oh, is it listed how badass in his inventory on D&D Beyond? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, if, you, if you're looking at us on the web, you can click into his character, and I believe you can get into his inventory. Show the picture one more time, just for fun. Oh, for funsies. Uh, it is... It's a lance. Bing! Hey. Uh, oh. It's a lance. Make it. Not it can be thrown. Like it. Oh. Platinum <laughs> wing. That's what we named it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it can be thrown, uh, and it turns into an energy bolt, returns to the user's hand. Uh, it does. It's a dragon slayer uh, and a fiend slayer, so it does extra damage to both of those things. Oh, it's in my room. Sorry. Um, it causes pride in the user because fuck, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is acts as a defender. Yeah, defender. So you can but only transfer. For one round or? No, you just you choose every round. Uh, uh, it ga- it gives him a pretty much a permanent it five a hit point move. shield every turn. Every turn he has a five hit point shield on it. Uh, it can. Something else it does. It emits lights. It emits it's, light. Uh, makes us immune to the dragon. Ah, that's oh. it. So everyone around him and and himself is immune to frightful presence from dragons, and he is resistant to all dragon breaths. Yeah. Uh, it also cool. has iTunes. But yeah. he cannot. He cannot turn down a plea for help from a good character or good aligned person. So buckle uh, in, boys. <laughs> and if he witnesses or n- learns about evil doing something, he can't leave it unpunished. This is still the same character that can can compel enemies to fight, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know if he should uh, be holding this thing anymore. <laughs> Uh, Fight me, dragon! You're like, it's already fighting us now. It's next to my computer. Oh, okay, I'll have to edit. So, how do I feel about these Druger wanting to Uh, destroy some evil? That is not my art. That is Win M, uh, W E N space M. Look him up on DeviantArt. He makes a game called Anima, and he did all the character art and all the uh, weapons. And he just has pages and pages and pages of of weapons, of anime weapons. Uh, you can look up anything. If you actually type into Google, win M daggers, win M maces, uh, you get tons of his artwork. So W E N space M win M. Just put in like win M whatever weapon you want to look up: swords, daggers, chains, pole arms, uh, and you'll pull up a whole bunch. The guy does. Amazing artwork. Can you type it in chat? Yeah. Ooh, props to win him. Props to win him. He is my go-to. If you need the, an idea for an awesome looking weapon. Is it for you? Uh, huh? No, he does it for another game called Anima. Mm. I mean, I'm just using it because it looks cool. Like, we're not... Oh, I was like, new person? Yeah. Hey! Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, win him, hey! Oh, Wiley Burst, never mind. Yeah, he he does some great stuff, and I I've always wanted to pick up Anima, and learn how to like see the role playing game because it seems very exalted ish. Like Ooh. it's an anime yeah. fantasy game. Oh my and god! It's Sign me up. Amazing. Also, new edition of Big Eyes Small Mouth coming out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, I played that one. Yeah. What IPA? They didn't have Guinness. <laughs> but the other so instructions are. That's my. I'm sorry. It's Thank okay. you so much. Are you kidding me? I'll keep in the guy. change, Mitch, for that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> like Heineken, Stella. Oh. <laughs> You know what? I'll take this to the parking lot. That's fine. Just, just drink. Coffee. No, they, they can all drink. Be fun. <laughs> I'll drink it. It's yeah, going to be I'm terrible. Allergic. But I'm not going to allergic. <laughs> drink it. But don't worry about it. Sure, I'm in the middle of something. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for writing. I'll drink one because then you brought it. All right. back. You fucked <laughs> Thank you, oh, the weapon design is mine, uh, and it's based off of a couple things. It's based off a of dragon slaying, so dragon slayer, oh, and a defender, that. but it has other things. Uh, I created that in D and D Beyond. Um, Thank you so much. I didn't submit it to the community. I don't know. I, I've not gotten into that yet, but I think I might. Was a community? Yeah, like other people could use my weapon if I submitted it and it gets approved. It's mine, though. In D&D? Yeah. Oh, In D&D cool. Beyond, like, other people can use it. Oh, yeah. That's why there's so many of those things on Reddit where people are, like, making fun ones huh? and goofy ones. Yeah, that's, that's normally that's a DM's Guild, well, which is a different one. The only one that I really thought that I was like, I would use this shit is Pocket Sand. Pocket Sand. So basically it's just like you're smart enough to keep sand in yeah. your pocket. Pocket Sand. But the guy wrote, like... 
attributes for it, like how to use and like how far you can throw it and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I like this. I am Grable Gallon, thank you very much. <laughs> but he did specifically say no IPAs. Yeah. <laughs> like he said it three times. We have an IPA. <laughs> we have an IPA. So uh, everyone, everyone loses inspiration. Yeah, but it's normally brand. <laughs> I said everyone loses it. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so I'm feeling that we're going through the upper dark tunnel. Is that oh, that was correct? my idea. He doesn't like that idea. And Rofrest walked away before we could hear. Well, he said take the same thing under Dark South to exit. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah. So he agreed with you. I, I was the only one that suggested it against. I never leave you so under like this. Does Ayasa have it? That was kind of she pointless, but that's <laughs> all she has to say. No, she's really no, smart. she she is all for doing the unpredictable thing, and we need to research. We need to find. We need to hunker down. Yeah, uh, oh, so you were not. Hunker down, research, find our next move, and stop being led by the nose by these people that are after us. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, actually. And that's what she said, and she said that. That's what she said. So, you know, you're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Do I gotta go? Yeah, like this. Say hi, Kaylin. Wave your hand in front of you. There she is. <laughs> Did you pull out? No. Oh. I love, like, the people that have their vapes and all that. They're like, where's the button? There's no button. Just suck. <laughs> all right. Was that the mystery one? Mm. Or is that yours? It's mine. No, never mind then. <laughs> Gives me a headache. You haven't tried this one. Is it a new one? Mm-hmm. Is it still... I'm pretty sure this one's a sativa. Not 100% sure, but pretty sure. Hmm. Oh my god. And you missed right. a really important thing where I beat this door for the duel. It. it was so <coughs> cool. Fuck y'all. Yeah, uh. That's your fucking sandwich right now. Like, uh, you missed a, uh. <laughs> so. Oh, I didn't draw anything. I was like. Oh, okay. So they made. They forged the weapon. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you saw him with the Dwergar, but on. they found the forge, and the forge was being occupied by Dwergar. <laughs> oh, good. Uh. Oh, what the hell is happening? No, you're missing out on the good <laughs> stuff. This is high D and D. This what? It's high magic D and D. Yeah. <laughs> high <laughs> fantasy. Uh, yeah. For any students that I have, <laughs> this tobacco. Get your shit together, man. Walker, Walker, <laughs> baby. Okay. Anyway, um, to explain where they are, it's sad, bro. they found the thing. They forged the weapon. <laughs> They have three choices to get out of here. Drink your drink, man. Yeah. This is mine. Yeah. I'm drink that drink. Well, now I'm second guessing this going through the tunnels because this I'm episode like is not sponsored. In them. It's not sponsored by Sierra Nevada, but we but are. We're open. open. For, we are open. Yeah. Sierra Nevada. I only told her not to get it three times. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth time would have been the charm. <laughs> yeah. See, you were so close. <laughs> Not IPA. Sorry, Sierra, Definitely not IPA. Don't get an IPA. Get an IPA. Don't get an IPA. Get an IPA. It's beer. I'll drink it. It's okay. Yeah. It's actually not a, like, this it's, is a pretty good IPA. This is in the my worst. Did, what was the, uh, it's the worst. Uh, let's see. I, I have to pull it up. <laughs> what was the one? Where's the Discord? Shit. Discord. Shit posting central. Both masters right, by the way. Oh, uh, don't die, my lady. You <laughs> don't lie, don't my lady. Lie. Oh, you still have gotten it. What are for? <laughs> Nothing. I need, I need <laughs> uh, Shane asked him the same thing because Shane she thought saying, he didn't know who he was. Comic off in the corner. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Thanks, Caitlin. Anyway, you, got, like, <laughs> you get beer? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your beer. India pale ale like, smell oh, like a man urinating in a freshly mown lawn. Oh, that's right. As he urinates, he. Exp- he explains to me a subject which I'm all I already understand, and I cannot get him to stop. Oh shit! Somebody <laughs> said that to me today. I sent that to the Discord channel. I mean, what are those oh, phrases? Well, it's, from, it. it's from Chris Questionable Content. <clears throat> what are those hearing aids even for? <laughs> what? But he remembers the Odyssey down to the <laughs> right. the fucking text. 
<laughs> can't remember that we sent this we like all three days ago. The greatness that is Homer. <laughs> Jesus, nice, man. Not even that. Like, wouldn't it be nice to be able to aim your memory a little bit better? Because I kind of feel the same way. I can tell you almost a page per page retelling of Bram Stoker's Dracula that I can't remember people I met two days ago. Right. All right. Uh, I. It's just in a Discord for us. I may make a more full-fledged Wily verse one, but that means I'd have to get into bots and moderation and doing all that stuff. So we just have a group one that we post our crappy memes and Sonic bullshit. You don't even play it with Sonic, so you can't even get mad at that. Speaking of Sonic I bullshit, Sonic. what do you think of the new Sonic the Hedgehog preview there, Wolfmaster? Oh, you just very We're not sponsored by Touchstone, but we... <laughs> yeah. It looks like oh, it looks like such garbage. I hope it's a joke. I hope that's a joke trailer. No, they've been talking about it forever. I no, thought, I know that they're making a movie. I, thought Detective I P hope P the oh the trailer the was trailer's a joke. a joke, and what you see at the end, the mm -hmm. real Robo Robotnik with the big ass mustache, is the real movie. Oh, he's just gonna have some sort of fucking failure, and that's what's gonna make it. It's an origin story, so we're gonna learn about Sonic learning, getting his powers. I was a hedgehog that got irradiated. No, no, you're the, not. we don't have to do that. So All right. Same thing. Jim Carrey's be like, "How skinny I am!" And at the end, he's like, "My mustache is ridiculous, and I'm fat." Like, what happened? That's that's what okay. happened. We're gonna so, see how that happens. What you doing? <clears throat> Happening in the upper dark. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys are going back to the Sword Coast. Never selects it. Just kidding. Zero next gets picked all the time. Uh, unless anyone wants to. Are you sure you don't want to defeat a mind flayer and rid the? Darkness below of a, of a wickedness and kill it, kill its dragon. It sounds like it's a it sounds like it's a nice easy dragon to start with. It's, it's things pet. How hard could it be? I'm quite sure I wish not to face it. Yeah. I if know. only for the fact that it lies deeper in the caverns and we have not fared well in the oh. first level. Well, shine them. Look at us, fucking glowing everywhere we go. Yeah, Maybe. you guys are very shiny. <laughs> I'm glowing. He's glowing. Are you? You have a necklace that glows. Actually, and you show it off. you got something new now. I don't know. It's stuck in my. <coughs> oh. You guys have light. I don't need it. Oh, that's not true. I'm afraid of this place. That light is fucking out. Okay. Um. So, you say your goodbyes to everyone. The Dwergard contingent is going to be heading out, and they're going to show you the path. On their way out, so, the Dwarven contingent is staying. They're so good to die. I mean, they're the not coming. No, no. They're, oh, they were supposed to. They were supposed to. to forge. And now they rediscovered their city and they rediscovered their forge. They're staying here. Ricker's <laughs> gonna map it out. They're gonna do all that stuff. So, and you've lit it, right? And that fire is magical. They can't just let this thing go out again. So someone has to attend this now. To make sure it never goes out again. You, I want to know what they're. What are you? What about the crazy cannibalistic <laughs> frost balls? What are you gonna do with that? Uh, should, what's his face? Like Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, Daredevil's like, I will send uh, Ricker and uh, Broly all back. They'll get a contingent out here to clean this entire place out. All the orcs will be slain. Oh. All the orcs would be saved. That's what the orcs said. Remember? Like, they why said, didn't, "Why didn't you send for the contingent?" Or because we didn't I'm know where kidding, it was. I know, it's a joke. <laughs> we didn't think this existed. Without your mad? No, I don't say that. Without my what? Without your mad? Oh. So. Um. Yeah, they're gonna stay. That was. Look. They were. They're never planning to go wherever you're going next. Anyway. Yeah. I, um, I thought for sure they were going to want to be escorted back to Iron Master. I tried to convince them this is their last chance to fight a dragon. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty uh, good. I mean, if, if Vegas suggested that, Rofast would absolutely, like, are you sure you don't want the glory of... What did you call me? Is that next? Oh, okay. You said Rofast. Well, that's me. I know, yeah, but that's what you said. Yeah, suggested that. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, no, I said if, if he suggested that, Rofast will absolutely be like, yeah, anyway, are, you, anyway. are you sure you, you don't want to miss out on this... On the glory? Glory of which? Going after the white dragon or going after He's the... He's just telling the dwarves, like, hey, you should come with us. We're going to fight a dragon. Oh, yeah. This would mm -hmm. be a great time for... Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, you much. helped us reclaim a forge in a city long gone. No, we're, uh, what, we're what? staying. We're not leaving this behind. This is our heritage! It is a pretty nice forge. It's our legacy! Yeah. Why have we seen that dragon? What? 
You like all about dragons, then? Right. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it. Uh, so Dwargar contingent uh, bring you back through the foundry, uh, and when you get through the foundry complex, you're inside this big ass cavern that is like almost like pathways and roads are built in it. And one side goes up, and it takes you to the House of Law, which is when you were in the main city of the Dwarven City, Mm -hmm. that door on the other side, went to the House of Law, which is their castle, essentially. It's where... House of Law, I like that. It was the castle. It was the bureaucracy center. Uh, It's where laws were made, kings sat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, So you'd have to have gone through that. But this is the path that takes you to... Other places. It takes you to the foundry and the forge. It takes you to some other uh, parts of the city. Uh, and it also t- has a massive ass gate that goes into the Underdark. And that gate is blasted down, and you see some of those tunnels cord through this area because uh, this is where the Dwergar came when they were refugees running away from the Doles. Uh, and. The dwarves locked them out, but the doles busted through it anyway. Uh, yeah. So yeah, taking, I'm so glad not one of those things woke up. I was so I oh, they're was all so dead. Ready for it. Yeah. The ones that are here are dead. I just pictured like all this like commotion of all this forge shit. It's like falls on them now. It's like guess what, motherfucker? Yeah, I wouldn't. That's like Tarask level, like for you guys. That would have been like you can't kill those things. It takes. An you army have a whole, to kill these you things. You'd have a whole adventure inside its stomach. You kinda. would. Trying yeah. to not die. Yeah. Trying to get acid eaten. Um, I hate being digested. So. Uh, Sucks. What looks like shit? The new. Oh, the trailer. Sonic, that's right. Oh. Uh, behind. Uh, so. They take you through that busted down gate, and there's some, some kind of constructed caverns out there that, that they've been. Uh, worked worked stone, but eventually it gets to kind of start getting jaggedy and caverny. Uh, and they pointed a path that they're going, and they say, Kiasiolm, their city, is down that way. Uh, the path you want to take is that way. And they point you down another area. And they say, it should be fairly straightforward. Stay on the main path, and it'll deposit you on the southern faces of the World Spine Mountains. You said Cassium was their home? Yeah, that's the one that's destroyed. Cassium. Ah. It's like Chaosium, the book company, but ending Uh. with H-O-L-M-E. Oh. Cassium. I like it. All right, that's where the Druid are going. That's where the Dwarf are going. That's where the Mind Flayers are. The Mind Flayer and the Black Dragon. Uh, It's Pet Black Dragon. Uh, yep, they point you and they they thank you and turn their backs <clears> on you and walk away. killing us. I know that was pretty rough at the first, <laughs> but uh, glad we worked it out. You still have that broken arrow. <laughs> or the, sorry, you have the crossbow bolt that you break to communicate with them. I don't know if you remember getting that. Because, because you won the wager. Oh, right, right. Uh, you get to call on them to help you. He... You got it, right? No, he got he it. He got it, okay. And what is it? It's, like, it's the it's calling a, the Droger. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a crossbow bolt, oh, crossbow and you bolt. break it, and say the location that you want them to show up at. I think the chick against us was like bullshit. Thank you. Her uh, holy symbol is a shield with a broken arrow on it. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> she really sells it. Yeah. <laughs> I was an evil door if I do that to everybody. Right. Hey, just do this. It'll give you great your wishes. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, she's their rogue. <laughs> she's actually their rogue. You know, at first I did I couldn't fool anyone into this bullshit. Then I started wearing this and I had this talisman made and all of things. So there's a big ominous cavern entrance in front of you. And it's dark. I'm assuming you have your daylight on yeah. and your thing is glowing yeah I can't really like put this in my fucking pocket no you, like, you are carrying that yeah just put a little flag on the end of it I mean it. you have a you have your back banner on and this thing yeah oh! if he, but if he sheathes it does it still continue to be lit like, like, there's no sheathing that yeah. thing it's like <laughs> pole eight foot pole coming out of his back <laughs> 
I mean, we have a bag of holes. I was going to say, Zero Next is just putting <laughs> the platinum wing in the fucking... I, uh, I, no, I think it's a release, terrible idea. He's personally. not going to release his hand off uh, that thing. No, I just mean as a tactical, you know, strategic... Um, I should absolutely keep holding this. Yeah. And I try to look. I try to look serious about it, <laughs> but you can tell I just really want to hold it. Oh yeah, you're too. You're trying to look rough, but you get a smile too. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really trying hard to like to show it. So this area is even big enough. This place is so it. large that you can get on your steeds and ride through it. We should get on our steeds and ride through it. Will they be spooked? I mean, what's yours? Be spooked? Yeah. They're kind of alive. <laughs> by your crushing weight. That's a great idea. Yeah, I summoned my, my freaking. Uh, oh, I just been so long. Your dragon. It was like for those like, who don't know, we're not being like. Thundas, I think his name is. Thundas. Yeah. Thunder. Anyway, uh, the dragon horse. They have onyx figurines of horses. They're called Onyx Chargers. Uh, they pretty much are made just to go straight. They're not the, the nightmares like the other well, figurines. They're... The figurine, we throw them out and they become a horse yep. that we can ride. Except for his, he brings his out and then he casts the spell Summon Steed and it turns into a platinum Dragon? and black dragon horse. Uh, uh, the fuck is a dragon Look it up. It, there's actually a great <laughs> picture of one. You can say dragon mount or dragon yeah, horse. To be. We talk, and there's we some talk good pictures. <clears throat> so I, I went back and watched an old episode to research something for this episode. And it happened to be the one where you like had first gotten your new horse. And you were so jealous of his <laughs> fucking horse. <laughs> yeah, it was. <sighs> it was a tinker. I try to look, I try to look, I try to look humble about it, but... I mean, just look at it. You finding good pictures? Yeah. <laughs> and he's smart. And this he is likes one of my, my jokes. One of the ones it's I like good, as well. It's a like, good thing. Whatever this mad creature is. Uh, it just keeps showing. Like, I find this one mostly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, that, that comes up because of your search history, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to type in Unicorn Man for that. Which uh, you should do, by the way. Unicorn yeah, Google man. Unicorn Man. All right, so uh, are you, you trekking out? Yeah. Uh, are you having your lights on? Yes. Because it is... Well, the Pretty much one. pitch black. Yeah, it's in dark as shit in here. Also, I almost got eaten when we went to the dark. So. Yeah. yeah, and you are in a different section. <clears throat> you're not hearing the moaning. You're not seeing the things above you here. But you do You'll like going through here. <clears throat> you are absolutely going to regret it in no. the best possible way. Yeah, it's not like in a, <laughs> not in a horrific way. Uh, so this this is a massive cavern, like. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not hitting Just the ceiling on no, accident with the hundreds <laughs> of feet wide. Uh, you're, you open up into some areas where you're almost like on just bridges or cliff faces around massive caverns that go down into the other dark, under dark. You see other, you know, roadways essentially in this upper dark place. Uh, there's animals, there's creatures, there's all kinds of stuff around that's just like if you were traveling on land, except for everything's underground and everything is scary and terrible and terrifying. Uh, you know monsters in your way that scamper off at the sight of your light and things like that. Uh, this is like normal travel and you go a couple days <clears throat> before you come around a bend on a cliff face, like you're just, your little path is against a wall that just looks down into a big abyss of nothing. You kind of go into a cavern again and a river, an underground river apparently runs through this and it has frozen for the winter. It is this massive ice wall is in front of you. Uh. It looks like you can get up and over it. You know, might have to climb or do other things. This is just in the way. Just in the way, like blocking. Like this was a river flow that go that went through this, and they oh. may, have, may have even had a bridge over it or something. Uh, but it's higher but, than the ground. But now, because it's, it's froze, and then more water ran over oh. it and froze, and more water ran over it and froze. Oh. So it just filled this cavern when it froze. So there's a pretty much a big wall in front of you, and you it doesn't reach all the way to the top. So like it, you might be able to climb, 
but you're climbing ice, and if you get if you fail and start sliding down, you're going to go down. Who knows where this ice river goes? Um, but there's also looks like a cave entrance next to the river, and that may take you up and over in a different way. But it's taking you off the main path. Rufus's main in- uh, first instinct is just to <laughs> see this wall of ice, and just just he just looks at uh, Ayasa, just like like he doesn't say anything. He just like. Mm. I just smell like a potential she environmental walks reason to split the party. We're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she yeah, starts casting bye-bye. flame bolts at it, like melting parts of it. Like, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I, before, I thought you had bigger fire. Uh, not, it, not that many of them. Oh, uh, let us see if it is even worth. You need a drink? Or, I'm sorry. Hmm? Let us see if it's even worth passing. Perhaps I can climb it. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Is that athletics or would that be I think acrobatics? It's athletics. I could um, I could be assist with. I got pythons and rope. Well, I, have, uh, I have that stuff too. Advantage. All right. Disadvantage because it's ice. So, so regular right. roll. What is your athletics bonus? Well, My athletics it's plus seven. That's not that much higher than me. Let's oh, try do you to, want to tell everyone yeah, your new hit point total? Oh yeah, it's actually painted on rope for us. Breastplate. It's to uh, scare away it's, uh, literate to, monsters. To scare away literate monsters. I was going to 89 on my breastplate. Your hit points are 89? Yeah. yeah. What did you increase with your attributes? Did you do that? I didn't do anything. Did I sent that message to you. I did, but I didn't do it. You bastard. I'm busy. I know. I know. <laughs> you should have done it at the bar. Uh, That's a ridiculous <laughs> amount of health. That is nuts. Yeah, while you were fucking flopping or whatever. <laughs> or while you were play ganking. <laughs> <laughs> I was teaching. No, that was that's a great <laughs> game. Uh, so both those games are fantastic. Wow, you're you're right at the cusp. I say you do con and wisdom. Your wisdom will go up to an eighteen, and your con will go to a, an actual bonus, and you'll get eight hit points immediately. Your wisdom will go to a plus four. Oh, you haven't spent your level eight. Yes, oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, let's let's just do that then. All right, we'll, then auto, we'll auto do this one. Yeah, the All computer right. does it. Do I need to refresh? No, I'll do it. Sorry, folks at home. I'm quickly leveling. They're level eight now, so the things are wrong. I have, to, right. I have to update those. Lotar, ego stripper. Hey, ego stripper. Lotar Ogar. Zog zog. Me not that kind Victory. of Victory. Death. <laughs> Pro attacks. <laughs> I got axe for you. Yeah. So, um. Poking me. Stop. Sorry, oh, I don't know what it is. Did you, if you polish your skills, but you just look up and. I didn't remember. Well, it hasn't happened just yet. But such yeah. definition in your. Uh, I feel good. <laughs> like, what is that? Alright. Uh, you can refresh your character. <clears throat> can't just do it like that. Do I? I don't have characters. <gasps> We're playing Dungeons and Dragons in the future, guys. I know. Yeah. I was like talking on <laughs> Twitch while nuts. I was at the bar telling everyone that yeah. we weren't there yet. Anyway. Uh, Ego Stripper, thank you for. Join in the thing. Sorry, we had to do that real quick. <laughs> they, okay. uh, our group is running, uh, is traveling through the upper dark. Uh, so. And there's a wall of there's ice, a wall in, front of ice in front of you from a frozen river. Scary up there. So, regular climb, check, athletics. I'll give you a boost. Does it give me a boost? Yeah, have We've already canceled out. No, it doesn't. Two games ago. Just like that. Yeah. We go session for session, you lose them at the end of the session. You do, you it's lose tough. them. Uh, so points. Uh, also, you can't stack inspiration. You, you can't two or three of them get one only. She did. Yeah. She, she does get inspiration, but then she loses it for getting us the wrong beer. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, but, but we got beer. We're the, we it's were no, so close to not having beer. Be and then, I know. I was, I was saying. No, I did it wrong. She walked yeah. in and I was like, "That's wrong." Instead of being like, "Hey, thanks." No. But it is uh, funny. It was your money, though. So. Kayla <laughs> and uh, you also Master, haven't refunded any. <laughs> you both have inspiration. You can hand that out to the players at any time. Unfortunately, on this roll, he's already got advantage and disadvantage, so it won't help. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. You slowly make your way up there. You slip a little. It sucks. Uh, this is just like it's not even totally smooth ice. It's all you know, warbly and stuff around the side, so it it sucks to get through. But you put some pythons in, you run rope between them, and you get up to the top, and you see that 
it's probably about a 30 foot span that you might have to crawl over and it just slides down into a dark tunnel where this river goes so if you mess up at any point if anyone fails their athletics check they are going to slide off into the underdark somewhere on this ice river also uh, you're mistaking anchors for the piton. The piton is that little thing yeah. that you use to climb. No, that's a that's an axe. Pitons are the tink things you're doing it wrong again. Yeah, pitons are the things you hammer into the stone. Oh, tiger spike driven rock cracks, pro climber. Yeah. You know, it sucks because we've researched this a bunch yeah. before we started this game, and I already forgot. That sucks. All right, because like every dungeoneering pack has them. Yeah. Like, what does this thing do exactly? All right. So the you have this. You have a random cave entrance oh, fuck, off, cool. the, off the main path. Or you can try to set up a rope way and climb across this uh, ice river. Frozen ice. Frozen river. I can say that even with my skill, I had difficulty climbing or surpassing this ice wall. The other option is through that other path. To, uh, yeah, to, to explore that cave and see if it goes somewhere else around this. But you don't even know if that'll get you back to the main chamber. Like you, you could get totally lost in here. This place is massive, and a bunch of branches and stuff like that. You've been staying on the main path. You know where it goes. You can see where it goes, well, except for this ice wall in front of it. But if you go off in this cave and start exploring little side entrances, you don't know if you will make it back to this path. Yeah, in my opinion. As I say, our most dexterous one says that climbing this wall would be difficult. We'll get on with it. Let's, uh... <laughs> stupid. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, cool. We got you. No, you're, you're all going to have to climb fine. over this. I'm saying that you guys would have to follow me. Oh, my God. I'm having trouble. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I, okay. I was um, saying, so there's two ways we can go. We can go through the door and possibly take side paths around what we're leaving the main path that we were told to stay on. Climbing this ice wall is going to be difficult. I'm telling yeah. you that I had trouble with it. When we get to the top, as we shimmy over, if we skip or miss or anything, there's a sl- basically the river slides down back in deep, and I can't tell where. It's dark. Oh, it's we should stuck. definitely avoid that. <laughs> that yeah, if one like... of you loses footing, then it's... <laughs> that sounds like and then everyone shit. has to can you go make after us, it. Can you make us all float? Like how you do your thing, Yasa? It's a spell slot, I think. It is. There'd be no way she could waste all those. Now, let's see how many she has. Magic if may be the answer. Enough. If we don't have to fight those well, I, just don't, I just don't know if it's a spell slot or not, because like, that's too many. Oh, I'm looking at Four, or it would be, yeah, four of them. Yasa. So, so, levitate. This is us Yeah, I see that. <laughs> that's me. Yeah. Is the dragon flipping us off? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she can cast that three times. So you guys could float and I could I could make it. We could throw you a rope. It'd be easy. Okay, so once I'm onto the ice and I'm trying to cross, would that move to dexterous yes. bonus instead? No. What if I no. carry you? Still athletic. Still athletic. What if I just carry you? No, because then we'll both fall in the hole. You just float. No, 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 no you, you, I'm, I'm floating and then I'm carrying you because I... The weight is 60 pounds, I think, for float. Levitate. Levitate. Is it levitate, you levitate. Can, can he levitate me? Like, can I hold on to him? Yeah. No. She said, but she only has three. She can only do that three times, right? Yeah. So. You're saying you'll carry me. Yeah. Oh, I see. Because that's yeah. like an added weight to the levitation. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, I think sixty sorry. pounds is the only thing you're like. You'll get levitated with all your equipment, but I think beyond that, it was sixty pounds. Because like Mage Hand is like three Five, pounds or, or ten, eight, ten eight, pounds. Ten pounds. Yeah. She can't do better than that. Um. So. But she does say it. that do three times. she does say that she can like if you want her to waste all her her spells for the day and you're and the people are willing to levitate that's across the this that's all the power you'd be able to do we'd have to well, if, uh, if, if you, you like say like she has she has there. something else she's like I could probably get this across this it's just gonna put me at a disadvantage and if how much we how, have a fight how big can your fire be if we do do that. How much fire can you make? After I do that? Yeah. 
I remember you did this really big blast and just <laughs> destroyed all those drow. Remember when we were friends with that giant for that bit? She'd still have her she fireballs, just... she says. Yeah? And she'd still have her hut. I say, Rufa says that's fine with me. Right. Do you want to <laughs> have Iasa get you over it? <clears throat> what is... Do I know what this way is? Or... <laughs> levitate. It's levitate for two people and then a new spell for another person. So we basically go over this area and... Sounds like a fine use of witchcraft. Yeah, sure. Okay. So... Uh, levitating can only go up and down, so you're going to need something to get you across it. I thought that's what we were using. So I thought everybody's going to climb up. You're there. just going to levitate to the top and then use whatever, like, your weapons and just hit the ice and pull yourself across. See, I was saying right. it would be better for everybody to climb, because I've already left my, my pecans in there. Okay. Everybody can climb, and then when we get to the part that's going to be difficult to cross, levitate over that shit. Oh, you, levitate is to avoid climbing. Levitate is up-down. Oh. So... Is that what she's been doing to me? Mm -hmm. The balloon? That's yeah, nice. and then you're on the, f the boat. We and you're can't really, yeah, we can't you go, can't go forward. forward. But if she levitates you and you float, and she floats you to the top of the ice, you could then take your lance, you know, crack it in the ice, pull yourself forward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just go across. Okay, great. Oh, so they would still be floating. And you'd just be floating. Okay, that's, yeah. that's kind of what I was You saying. have to you physically to move Absolutely. yourself over. Yeah. So she's going to levitate you two. I thought I was We're not just trapped in that channel. Yeah, still don't moving. risk okay. it. I mean, okay. you can't. You can, can literally cannot fall. Are you it's like bring this zero gravity. She's like, I'll get him. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so she levitates both of you up, Whee! and you both have to use you know your weapons and such to crawl across. You should grab my uh, plates. <laughs> uh, you probably want to take those with you. You don't no reason yeah. to leave them behind. Uh, so you you crawl across the ice top and get down. And she's like, eh, I think they're over. I think about halfway there. And she just kind of does her little Doctor Strange thing, and this portal kind of opens in front of her. And she grabs you, <laughs> and they easy way. they <laughs> both you go both move through it and appear on the other side. Her new spell is Dimension Door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Why she could take one person. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm so bad. At, I, I'm. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so when you guys get over after crawling over this ice, they're just sitting there waiting for you. What the shit? <laughs> well, at least she saved right, it for. So for that's the, a fourth level slot for, for Dimension place. Door and two second level slots for her Levitates. Bing! Bing! Could have been worse. That's a level eight wizard. And I circumvented one of my my own encounters that I set up for you guys, and I'm like, oh, okay, just magic over it. I want a level eight wizard so bad. I want to play wizards so freaking bad. We have to have that, we have that other game. I know. Get, you know. All right. I hung out with him last night. He came out last night. Did he? Mm -hmm. You mentioned that. So he's going to be here too, isn't he? On the 15th. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that Galen? Yeah. 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 All right. You are now on the opposite side of the, uh, the ice river, and you can continue pushing forward. And then back on the steeds. And We've defeated a lot of ice, my friends. Uh, I'm just going to... Like you guys ride on, you're you're past this, but I'm just gonna tell you, you missed a fight with a, a draconic monster that Ouch. you could have lanced and done cool shit with. The same. Yeah. No, I was no my no this, no because what would have happened was like that person and this person falls down. After no no no. If you went in the cave, oh, if okay. you try to find another way around, oh. uh, you would have. We tried to. Oh, a bear. Ba 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. A lizard dachshund. It's like a lizard snake with legs, like a centipede, li uh, centipede dragon. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Hold on, everybody. I have a. I, I want to go back. I have a feeling. Uh, I was looking forward to that combat, but no, good, good, good work. Well, what you should have done. Good is not mentioned it and found another way forward that could put us in that cave. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm gonna. I mean, you have a wizard. She's here with all these utilitarian, crazy ass spells. So good, looking out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not like we actually know about this. Um, so yeah, I imagine we would. Um, wait, did you say we like got through to the end? You're or? you're going through, and again, you you have minor encounters here and there. There's some some. 
vicious wildlife in here, weird lizards and snakes, fungi that tries to move and eat you. Uh, it's a terrible long, place. How long it, has he been there? Huh? How long has he been there? Who? The fun guy. Huh. Hey. Uh, the we'll fun <laughs> guy from Yugath. Maybe we should. These, <laughs> uh, these, these, <laughs> no. these no. shit. Oh yeah. Thanks. I hate it. Yeah, you get food. You get provisions. <laughs> yeah. If nothing else, he can ritual up, Plus create food and water. We, yeah, perhaps oh. we should use the uh, what is the cabin thing that she can do? Lehman's tiny hut. You're oh. always in that every night. Yeah, we, yeah. Say we could take our time. Now we cross this thing. She just used a bunch of spells. We could probably rest. Yeah. Uh, Can you just portal us to where we need to go? Yeah. One person. One person, 500 oh. feet. Let's do that. Let's just make just her walk feet 500 feet. Would you live to do 500, that? 500 feet at a time. <laughs> just bloop. You have done bloop. that this whole time? She has to keep like running back a football field and playing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, you're going through, and this like it's like overland travel, uh, but darker, terrible, scarier. Um, and you don't know how long you've been under here, but the cavern kind of starts to shrink down a great deal. Uh, so now it's you know just as big as like this house. <laughs> huh. uh, and you're heading forward um, into the dark. Your light is sixty sixty. Uh, my daylight. Yeah. You're... So are we not? We're not taking that rest. Oh, that's right. Yours You're, is like this is, this is days, like days oh, okay. of travel. So yeah, you did rest multiple times. He has a piece of the sun in his rod. Giggity. And yours is thirty thirty, right? Uh, yeah, thirty. Yeah, sixty sixty. Okay. Dark vision is sixty. And if you, if you're casting that on yourself. While you're with them in their light, it doesn't ah, work. Of course. But if you're, are you <laughs> scouting ahead? Sting. I would say that would. I mean, I got these new like invisible and dark vision skills and things like that. I but I mean, like this is just travel. Like you're on horses. I, so I would be afraid to leave much farther than a little bit ahead of them. I had a and nasty encounter early on. So I was like, just, you know, this I isn't kind of cluster. This, yeah, this kind of isn't dungeoneering. This is you're in more travel path. mode. Yeah, then yeah. I guess not. Then yeah. well, uh, you, you, you often do right ahead when we are traveling. Though. I do, but those uh, those ceiling creatures feared me. But they gave me, gave me fear or whatever. The I dark like mantles. I got yeah, over it, but yeah. then I got into a fight with one of them. So I have a now I think like. I'm cool. I'm this, gonna stay kind of close to yeah, this a little bit. This whole shitty underground shit is like everything we come across is people that are just trying to jump us and, and single us out and shit. You yeah. wanted to go deeper. <laughs> I know. It would have been. No, but we'd be going I mean, down on a cross. These things in the ceiling. If we were going down, then we know there's no ceiling. That's, that's where we just came from. When we go down, there's no ceiling, guys. Oh, well, because you're you're like like <laughs> oh, well, yeah, as we go longer, we don't see like what? This is just right. air above us. We came down. You're like right, but right huh? below this mine shaft. It's a giant uh, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are riding. Uh, you got your light, you know, your lance, and your your scepter out. Makes sense of mine. Um, and you're riding together, and. Uh, uh, yeah, you just all of a sudden you hear. I was like, can I make GM eye <laughs> face movement? <laughs> face movement. <And> <laughs> <laughs> Perception test. <laughs> God, make a weird face. Twelve again. small arrows just whoosh, come out of the darkness and into your group. Excellent. Stop it. Uncanny Stop. dodge. Only if I get hit. Um, oh, what's exactly your AC? What I can see. Um... Non-defender. Uh, right, yeah. That's uh, this uh, a, a nice... Mm-hmm. Eight, 19, actually. 19, okay. And your AC? 14. And your AC? 17. I'm quite hittable. So you would okay. say like 10 is... Um, like, even by arrows, 19 or higher, so that's... One... Like, yeah. One arrow, two arrows, one that's arrow... That's a snaring. Oh, nice. So roll it. Uh, one arrow... One, uh, two arrows. So one arrow, two arrows, one arrow, two, uh, two arrows. You also did a head count. What is it? Do I, am I, 
taking damage? You are. Yeah. I just want to so, get him. Oh, just real quick before we do it. It says that, uh, provided that I have a free hand, uh-huh. since I don't have anything in my hands, will we count that as both clubs? Or is it a, a single... Mm, I'll do it just one. Okay. You're on a horse. We're on our horses still, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. That's right. Okay, cool. Uh, and it's a what check? Uh, 1d10 plus something. Sorry, I, I lost it again real quick. What the fuck is my fucking dexterity for the next fight? 1d10 plus my dexterity. Plus like, <laughs> and you have to get <laughs> above what? I'm gonna keep leaving before I say I know. Provided us uh, so nothing, these gloves seem to almost melt into your hands when you die. Oh, that's right. Well, damage I, damage I reduce my damage. Right, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get hit, but I can reduce it by grabbing it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, if you can get enough to do. The damage of both, I'll let you grab both. Well, if it does say it, it also reduces, if it reduces zero, obviously it doesn't get hit, so. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I'll let you take right. away the damage of both. <laughs> so I will let that happen so my if you roll good enough. Yeah, yeah. Plus oh, four. Okay. So. Oh, I have a lot of damage. So what about Cassian? Uh, 13. 13. <laughs> 13. You, ca- you grab both. Okay. And that's uh, uh, no damage at all. No damage at all. Right. Uh, you're like, what the? Uh, you take five. You take five. She takes ten. Does it just like okay? So There's twelve she, arrows. Like one just, smashes off your breastplate, another like clips your side. That's fine. I just want to just know because I'm holding with this with this crazy relic thing with that temporary health points. Is that just like? Uh, it's while you're in combat. Okay. So okay. like you have to like know it's the surprise yeah. round. I mean, if you're you surprised, at least right. two or three arrows before I think yeah, I'm gonna fight. Uncanny dodge. It's, it only works if I can see the enemy. <laughs> yeah. I okay. was like, oh. Like, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the just there, uh, there's something ahead of you shooting arrows at you. All right. Stop it! Roll, roll an intimidate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, know how to, you know how to make your voice echo. Stop that! I just see this. Yeah. One out of twenty. Four is not very good. No, it's not. Uh, but that was a very knee-jerk reaction. Yeah. But right. that's still. That's still a twelve. <laughs> no, you're pretty intimidating. Oh, well, he's man. got a, he's got a plus five charisma. Yeah, I forgot like, about that. Here, I'll give him this before I forget to use it. You lose him at the beginning of the session. Oh, you just give me no, no she she got got it got for me. Uh, this uh, new session. Here. You just give me I, the advantage. Yeah. Hey, I wouldn't use it on the. Yeah, oh, you see, absolutely. But uh, if you want to, uh, go I'm ahead. Don't forget otherwise. All right, go for it. It's going to be a mechanical trap, is what happened. You're yelling at a mechanical trap. It listens. That's um, that's a lot more. Uh, that's nineteen. Okay. The worst I defined. So that would be a hell of a move for the DM to to ask somebody to roll intimidation against a trap. Um, you hear something clatter against the ground. Let's well, assume it's very far away, and then that's right. Couple feet. Um, Is everyone okay? So, everyone just got hit by arrows. He yelled at them to stop it. Uh, what is everyone's reaction to this? What are you, what are you doing as a response? Making sure everyone's all you, right. There's nothing you could see. So, in the 120 feet ahead of you, which is the edge of your dim light, the tunnels just keep going, and there's blackness after that. You just saw those arrows come out of that blackness. So you don't even know how far away these things are, or what they are, or where they are. You just know that they're in front of you. Um, all Rofrax will do is just to take, just make sure everyone's no one's got a everyone's not. A Yasa's all. Yeah, you see. All right, I'll, then I, I'm just gonna trot back to over to Yasa and just kind of just, just keep. I told him to stop, and I'm just gonna okay. stay by that. She's putting mage armor on. Good. So she's glowing now. You don't. You don't. I think we all heard them scamper. Yeah, that's you that's heard right. something scamper away. Okay. It sounds like a couple footsteps, but it could be echoes. It could be a single person running away. It could be ten. You don't know. So I want to get off my horse and run to the edge of our light and do my dark vision. Because I, I feel like if these things are running around in the dark, then those dark eating creatures may not be attacking at them okay. right here. So you... Take your horse down and start running forward, casting dark vision on yourself. Mm-hmm. Just so when I get out of the little, because we're uh, 60 feet we have, right? 
it's 120 of dim light. It's 60 feet of bright light, another 60 of dim light. Jesus. And you, your movement's 30, right? Mm -hmm. You can move, move again, and then use your uh, cunning action as dash. So you can go 90 feet. Can I still cast it to that, or will it be my, both my hands? Oh, no, you do move? have to cast. Well, yeah, it is a... So yeah, well, you'll sure. get you'll get sixty feet. I didn't realize how bright that was, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that. Okay. And I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. That's you came back. I didn't. No, he's not. He's not going. <laughs> I, I can't get far enough ahead on foot to uh, get away from your light for my dark vision to work because <laughs> you're so fucking bright. Yeah, these guys are definitely beacons in the night. I mean. Oh, you know what I'm doing instead? Then before I'm gonna take my necklace off, can I throw it more than 120 feet? What is? Check the range throw, of a of a throw. dagger for throwing. You should have a dagger equipped. I uh, don't. You don't. It's about 10 feet, isn't it? I'm blades, vomit, all kinds of stuff. I might still have it laying around on my feet. stuff though. Yeah, I have one laying around. Hang on. Yeah, just uh, 60 feet. 60 feet. I mean, so that's the yeah. Like 10 feet. If you really like chucking it. I guess if you're like throw it. All right, away. never mind then. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? What are you gonna do? Well, if you're telling us that, yeah, like we just got shot at. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. We, we it sounded like something ran away. He told it to stop, and it sounded. Oh, like ten feet. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say seventeen. But so if you're like, relaying the information, then like I can't get ahead of you guys with all this yeah. light that you're shining. You can just start. Key up your horse and start running forward. Or you guys can move forward and we can see what's going on ahead, but we don't know what to expect. So it's fine with me, shall we? Yeah, we, could, we turn off the lights. You could turn off. I'm not doing that shit. I can't. I'll be blind as a bat. Well, uh, you can turn off your light. Yeah. Will that he affect doesn't... the radius of the light? Or will it still be a bright light, 60 feet? He still has 30. He has 30, 60. He can ask his weapon to turn off its light, but... I would never think of that. I mean, he could try to tell you to do it. Well, you but everyone could turn off their lights if you want to. Then you... There would be only, only person, me. Yeah, only that's him that can see. That's what I'm saying. So I, I don't want to do that at all. Um, Start barking. Uh, so, so. Yeah, dark... Like, they're, these things are, are shooting at a range that is outside of everyone's light and everyone... And even powerful races, dark vision, like... It's a ranged weapon. Like your short bow has a three hundred and twenty feet range. Mm -hmm. Oh and, shit! I didn't think about that. So, how far? How far is that? Well, three hundred. One hundred and twenty feet. Dim light. Feet. Dim it's light. And, we, and there's. But bows shoot a uh, three hundred and twenty yeah, yeah. feet. That's a short bow, and that's what these arrows look like. That's just a different picture in my head. Yeah. I was just think. I didn't think. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, this, so this could be, you. This could be so if you try to charge around. forward, you have horses. I mean, they they have a great speed, but. It's still going to be a couple more turns of getting shot at by these things. And, you know, maybe you just have to do that, but... You guys could just wait a turn while I move forward. I mean, you're going to be healing anyway. Well, they're shooting at us now, so... Well, I'm I can sure. I can turn invisible and make my way through to the edge of the light without anybody seeing me. Yeah, um... You could do that. And you, right now, like, there are rocks, and there are, you know, the walls aren't you even. Could, you, there is uh, cover it, you it, can it take from the you same want. direction, or? Came from the direction you're going. The it's only the direction. direction. Like, go. you're okay. in a, you're in a catacomb or cavern right. path. I sure hope they didn't hear us. Describe that death with the play. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this is the instantaneous reaction you're having, because I'm about to shoot you again. Yeah, so I'm going to do the. I'm going to get off my horse and be invisible, and then I'm going to start making my way along the okay, side so towards. You. So Maybe. your reaction is horse goes down, you turn invisible. She's putting mage armor on. You backed up to get in front of her. Yes. What are you doing? Uh, probably shield of faith in myself. Shield of faith. Uh, another volley comes in. What? All hot. There seems I said, all right. To, oh, there seems to be only ten arrows this time. Ah. Uh, you get hit once. What's your armor class now? Nineteen. 
Uh, you get hit once. And you said you are in front of Yasa, so you're taking yes. her arrows. Uh, that's it. They all bounce off. So, five and five. What? That's a bad one. Uh, so, four of the arrows, like, or three of the arrows, like, shatter off your breastplate, whiz by your head. Uh, one sticks in, one gets you. Everything, like, they don't know where you went, but thing arrows are just sailing down this cavern path, like... They're just launching volleys. Yeah. What you doing? You're you're now running forward. Mm-hmm. Did you already move? All, did you use all your movement last turn? I would say that I probably did because I wanted to get off and then move to the side before I moved forward. Okay. So move to the side, cast, and use your cutting action to dash. Mm-hmm. So now you can do the three move. Okay. Which I, I don't think is actually a rogue thing, but I'm not going to look it up. So we'll just, you're running out ahead of the group. Well, you wouldn't I, I could have made it 60 feet away before, right? You could. You made it. You have to cast, so that takes your action, but you still have your movement. So you move 30, and then you use your cunning action to go 60. 30 again. So I'd have to use two more actions to get out of the light again. Two more actions to get out of the light. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you can move, double move. Cause, oh, yeah, it's a run action, and I think dash is on top of that but we'll just say you can move 90 feet if you use all your action to your action cutting action and so move. I can't cast as a bonus action after that I'd you can able, you, okay. it, you'd you only move 60 do you want to cast as a cutting action well I was just saying I don't want to I, mean, uh, I don't want to be action. in the dark without, without dark, dark vision, vision. Yeah. Yep. so you'll move another 60 feet and cast dark vision on yourself so I'd be right on the edge? You're now 60, at the 60-60. Okay, that's, You're what, now at that's what I was trying to get done. I All can right. do that from this, yep. or no, okay. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Um, Ro Fox is going to try to, let's just say, like, you know, at least to tell Yasa, he's not going to tell Savroth what to do, but uh, he'll, just, let's say, he'll just kind of, like, he's like, get to cover, and it's kind of like be cover. For the arrows, really. Yeah. All the all the smarter ones. She out. drops her horse, runs to the runs to cover, and. But I would like to cast a spell if I can while doing that. Yeah. Um. So we'll go with a detect evil. What's the range on it? Oh shit! That's a very question. Feet. Wow, these things might yeah, might be just very far away. That is detect. Oh, did I not put that in here? It's right here on D&D Beyond. Uh, she also casts a second spell on herself, which she starts to... A uh, wispy uh, ah, no. red flames start coming off of her. It's only 30 feet. So. Some detection spell. Uh, no, right? <laughs> it's for investigating a room, you know, type yeah. of thing. Uh, so, besides that, instead of that, what are you doing? Um... Playing cover. I, I move mean, you forward. Can, you want to go forward? forward. Like, you want to go forward? Shit, no. I mean, you want to move forward? Like, don't uh, do that. charge. Well, I mean, I was. If I'm doing it in six seconds, I was just kind of like cover, helping cover them. Also, if you move forward, uh, uh, yeah, my dark I mean, she took cover. You told her to take cover, and she did. Oh, great. So, does Savra? Is what Savra doing? Rob is kind of going based on what's yeah, going what on. What are you doing? Probably just moving towards Ayasa. So you move over to cover as well? Yeah. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Well, if he's with Ayasa, then that's then it's fine. I'll just uh, start climbing forth with my galloping. Okay. Uh, do you, I don't know if your steed is on there. What is the the speed of a horse? It is... It, oh, I have a bookmarked right here. <laughs> Literally, it's our, our cone of light. And I'm like... <sighs> Perfect. He's like, and he's like, I'm gonna light. bring it with like, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're invisible. I think you're fine. <laughs> All right, let me see what's ahead. I'll oh, check it out. Speed. Uh, speed is sixty. Okay, so you uh, spur your horse and you go sixty feet forward. Uh, so now you're you're still at the edge of both lights. So because his light is thirty thirty, not sixty sixty. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, another wave of arrows come, and you're pretty much it, buddy. Good. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, they seem to also be honing in on you because you have light, you're forward, and... Fuck yeah. They ought to be. Uh, everything misses. Fuck. Fuck yeah, it does. I mean, fuck it. Tell me I smack one with my lance. Uh, alright. So you're continuing to head forward? What can I see from outside this light range in my dark vision? Uh, and your dark vision is 60? Or is it 120? I think it's 120. It is 8 hours. No. <laughs> no 60, 60 feet. 60 feet? Okay, so uh, you see nothing. You see cavern ahead of you. And arrows flying by you. Yeah, I'll continue moving forward. Okay. 30, 60, 90. So you have gone 60, 120, plus 90. Uh... I'd be a 210, 210 feet away from that. And so you can see up to 200 and I'd see 260, feet from, 70 from, from where you were originally started. started. Yeah, uh, so yeah. you see... Your horse can't even keep up with that. I might, I'll only light up a little bit of area, so yeah. that, might show, that might give you intel that could be helpful of where you're actually going in this. So up ahead, you see some rocks, uh, and then you see the next volley of arrows come from behind those rocks. So whatever it is, is taking cover behind those rocks and just hailing arrows down on you. Um, so you're continuing to move forward? How yeah. Sorry, how tall are the rocks? Like, uh, they're, yeah, like... And they're f kind of farther up ahead? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wh where's the ground? Is the ground on the table? The, the ground, ground is, is the, the floor. floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> that was the smartest question I've ever asked in D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, so there's a, uh, that. There's a game called uh, Macho four. Women with Guns, and it was one of those comedy comedy. <laughs> <games. laughs> you saying that's what we're seeing No, right no, no. <laughs> no, that's what you see. But there's a game called Macho Women with Guns, and the table, table rules. So if a miniature gets knocked over or something like that when you're doing your map movement, it happens to you, and you oh. take damage and all that stuff. And one of the enemies of the game is an aliens is, is and they have acid What's blood. Like? An aliens is, is and they have acid blood. If you kill an aliens is, is on the map, it burns a hole through your table. And if anyone is in that hole or anyone's on that space, they fall to the carpet below, and you're supposed to put the miniature down there, and now they have to figure out how to get back up on the table. Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your character is now on a floor are in you, a house. Are we talking about... It's a crazy-ass game. That it sounds... is a crazy-ass game. I, I love... Let's do that on the 15th. Yeah, Fuck this bunch of bullshit. Bullshit. I have it. It's somewhere. It's somewhere up here. If you get to me, I'll it's, study. I'll study that as much as hard as I can. It is a crazy old game. There's three character classes. They're all female because all the men went insane in right. the world. There's okay. macho women with guns. There's batwing bimbos from hell. And there's renegade nuns on wheels. Holy shit! I like fun stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. You know. Okay, so you see arrow sail. Uh, you get this, hit man. four times. You take 20 damage. Who does? You do. Oh, that's fine. So they're they're focusing on you. Like, Good. Doo, 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 doo. I'm sorry, did you say 20, 20 damage? damage yeah. From four oh. rows. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> we had a bet. Did I just see a drug view? Let's no, we had a bet. We thought you were going to say, oh, ho, ho, ho. I fucking won. <laughs> Yeah, I like to keep it unpredictable. You, know? uh, you oh, are I just moving. Bet about you saying it. <laughs> so, oh, okay. you're on your horse, right? It's sixty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're doing nothing but running, so that's a hundred and twenty. Oh, is it the same round? Okay. Same round. Is, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, uh, you have now gone sixty, hundred twenty, one hundred and eighty feet. So he's. I'm ninety feet out, still at two seventy. Okay. 210. You're at 210. You can see to 270. Oh, sorry, 210. So you're at 210. So he's at 180 then? He's at 180. Okay, then I'm not, because I'm at 210, then I'm in his field of light again. So you mm -hmm. light has come up. Mm -hmm. 30. You're 30, 60. 30. Oh. You're 30, 30, 30. 30 dim. You have to do 60. So actually, if you're only in the dim light, your dark vision is still kind of okay. Oh, okay. Well, then I gotcha. But he's now just 
riding down this, this is tunnel. The most math we've ever done. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Except for the falling. Oh, yeah, oh that's way. true. We have a lot of timing. <laughs> geometric shapes for that one. Yeah. I was trying to help you explain yeah. the, the planner difference in our fall. I can't believe uh, we all made sense of that. I mean, we we're all on the same page uh, the whole uh, time. So, this is my favorite two sessions so far. This is pretty good. Are you moving? <laughs> you you yeah. move ahead. So, Dash, just engage. Yeah, that's what we got. Back. Give me your money back. No, it's really not. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you can move and use your cunning to dash, and that would put... You, you would see what's behind the rocks. That's what I want. Yeah. And you'd still have an action. Um, there's little figures. They're they look three to four feet tall. Uh, they're all heavily like cloaked up, and they're shooting uh, short bows at you guys. Like like their lives depended on it. Can I tell? I guess I can't tell if they're evil or nice or good or anything like that. I mean, they're shooting yeah, arrows at us. What do they look like? Because I can like see them in the dark, right? Or am I only seeing shit? You're seeing black and white, but... Different, like, like, jump. He's kind the one seeing this, right? Yeah. If you like right. If you want. Know. <laughs> so far, we have a warlock and a barbarian. That's it. How close to them am I beyond that wall? Uh, you are... Unless we play that other... There isn't... So you moved... Sixty feet. You were at two ten. You're at two seventy. Awesome. They're at three twenty. Oh, okay. No, so no, they were. At, I can't do that. That's a guy. I, had, I can't do it. You're at forty spots. feet away from them, I believe, if my math is correct. Forty feet. And I don't okay. think it is. Well, three ten from two seventy. Yeah, it's forty. Forty. So yeah, forty feet away. All right. Shit. Can I close the gap as my action? Act? You can move again. Won't be as your last. Feet. It'd be 30, thirty. Thirty. Another feet. thirty. So you'd be 10 feet away. Yeah, let's get closer. Okay. Staying low, though, now that I'm getting closer, obviously. Right. And you're invisible, and on the side, they, they don't oh, know right. you're there at all. Oh, so. um, that's, why, that's why I wasn't worried. I just saw you go invisible. Like, so you... Uh, you know, we don't even know where I'm at. You move it yeah, up. Oh, sorry. I, I what do really you guys do? Ayasa... Like, he's moving up there. She's like... Should we move up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Like, whatever, like, just move little bit cover of cover, cover, like, we can find, okay. probably. So you're moving pretty much at 30 feet increments, because you're going cover to cover. Uh, she's mainly just waiting to get some illumination on the enemies. Uh, so you now move up another 120 feet. There's 60, 120. Unless, well, I mean, unless I was taking, like, a... Because you're charging. I mean, what about... Yeah, like it's like move. It's, it's double move. It's if, double move. If yeah. it's if you're not going to for combat, I don't have, I don't, unless I can run, or is that only a bonus action thief thing? I don't know. The disengage is only a those are the dash it's, action is. The only thing I remember yeah. that from was with Malmuth. Yep. Uh, so no. Uh, so you either move up sixty and take an action yourself, or you just are, um, are telling the horse to go and doing the full hundred and twenty. Uh, that would put you at. So you were 60, 180. That would put you Ooh, at 320. You, well, he doesn't know what he's saying, but good. I might do a protection from evil. Is it until the spell ends, one willing? Um, Aberration, Celestials, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. Okay. Um, let's have a disadvantage on attack rolls. Just give yourself a level one protection to... Protection against evil. Protection from evil. All right, and you move 60, right? So yeah. that puts you at 240. Uh, they all turn and run. Screaming. Oh, shit. <laughs> that I do that I do a smart thing? I waste a lot of terms getting close. Also, I'm getting hurt. Um, mm. So, yeah. This action, I mean, you don't hear nothing. You're, you're charging on your horse, casting spells. <laughs> but you're seeing them. They're just like, they're firing, they're firing. They look more desperate, more desperate. And then they're like, Aah! and just start running away from you guys. Can I hop over that little wall and see, like, if it's a straight tube or multiple little rooms and things like that? What, the, little, the boulders are behind? It's still just, it's cavern. I mean, it's still the same path. They were just using that as cover. They're just using this cover. And this is like it seems like there's a little camp here. Like they they must be watching this area for some reason. Oh, so it does have like signs of camp, like fire and like a little. Well, not fire, fire. but uh, it looks like they had like little like 
pillows out and you know backpacks leaned up against the wall. Like this is something that was done. But he's just running out there with his horse, and now they are in full, gotcha. full fleeing. Can I let me search one of the packs or two and kind of see if I can't tell who these guys are what they're doing here? Uh, you find a whole bunch of weird shit, like mushrooms, uh, which might be rations, might be hallucinogens, who knows. Um, there's a metal case with flint and tinder in it. Uh, doesn't look... Bye. You can say bye. You can talk. Like, <laughs> hand. Uh, flint and tinder inside a metal case that has a lock on it. For some reason, um, it just seems like there's just normal gear which you'd find in like in a dungeoneering pack. Uh, some food, rations. So nothing that like gives away who these guys are or what they're doing. It's because they live here. Like this is like camping for them. This is probably a, a position that they watch. You know, something that they're guarding because you're heading towards something. Uh, so you're running, you're riding down this, and mm-hmm. like. Are you going to tell him that they've run away, or are you going to let him keep going after him? No, I'll let him. I'll, I should, do I have to come on un, uninvisible nope. to, like, yell and do stuff like mm-hmm. that? No. Good talk. Well, then I'll message him and be like, hey, well, stop. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa! I think I've messaged you a couple of times. You would notice. It's scary every um, time. Yeah. I, I never expect And they're on oh, foot. The thing is, <laughs> they're, like, huh? <laughs> they're on foot, so you could absolutely run these things down. I'll just tell you they've run, then you can. Do I see them? No, like, you have no, you okay. still not seen them. I'm actually but he still messaged, ahead of you. Yeah, he messages you, you and that, says, you, "What was the message?" It was they, they've run away. They have run away. Deep and I'll them. I'll make a I'll pull the rings and, and get a little <laughs> tight curtain. I'll say like, "Thank you for stopping that." <laughs> but like you know, threatening way, like yeah, thank yeah. But you know, or not, not like that sarcastic. Yeah. But like, should be like, take that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. What's the plan then? The path is ahead of you. These things were were trying to protect this area. You're wounded. She's wounded. You're uh, wounded. We can chill and rest. Just kidding. <laughs> You don't want to let them gather their strength up that much. What Rofas is really doing is thank you for stopping. Rofas, what are you saying? You've got to say cooler things. You're holding the platinum wing. Yeah, you gotta be yeah, better it's, at this. It's like, uh, he feels very embarrassed about that. But he's in the darkness by himself, so no one can see him except for his faithful Steve who he confides in, confides in with all things. Okay, we'll take a little bit of a break. Yep. Go to the bathroom, get some more beers. All right. We'll be back and as you figure out how you yep. want to proceed down this uh, this tunnel. Uh, we'll be right back, guys. I'm going to use some lay on hands. Lay on hands. Uh, if you're doing any healing for anyone, mm-hmm. or you are, let me know, because she has ten hit points down. What oh, does she do? Yeah. Uh, other people got hit as well. No wizard likes to take 10 HP. Maybe. <sighs> da, 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 da. What do you think, sad, bro? I don't know. You charged at him. Same do work. Are you selling your horse? Uh, no, me and I asked her on foot. We've been moving oh, that's right. behind cover. Oh, yeah, so did the wizard chef. He went cover with the. Yeah. Do, 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 do. The fuck were those things? Hard not to be Easter Rock a lot of times where I'm like, just shoot him. Like, I was already thinking, like, oh, what could I throw at him that could, like, explode? Like, maybe have a liquor bottle or something like that, like mm-hmm. a Molotov cocktail or just message Ayasa to do something. But I message was too far away. It's 120 feet. Yeah. <clears throat> 
So, any questions, mm. concerns, anything? Oh, you're oh, you're oh, just on. Uh, I don't know if there's a plan yet. There's just a path ahead of you. You know you have to go this way. There's these things in your way. Looked like they had a little guard post. Uh, and you have to keep going forward. And they ran. So they're still somewhere up there. And you don't know what else is up there. Well, I was just curious because I messaged him. I wasn't sure what his final decision was on what to do. Like, what are you guys doing right now? Oh, he stopped and was... Oh, okay. uh, he was stopped and chiding himself for not thinking of something cooler to say. Uh, these two are moving up still oh, to okay. meet up with you guys. That's that. They don't know really where you are, so you're invisible still. I mean, can I, I guess some chalk? I can be like. No, you just message. You could talk. It, yeah. it doesn't matter. Like, it just. Unless you want to dismiss it, which I wouldn't recommend. No, you only have it for an, an hour. hour yeah. You've used both your high-level spells, so you have your dark vision for the rest of this sojourn, and your visibility is going to last for another hour. Sorry, I should have announced the break. I didn't just get up and over again. No, that's right. A little longer. That was a good breaking point. Viewers. How many viewers? Five. Eight. Oh, it's what I thought. Uh, all right. What are the names? That's uh, more than five. I know, that is way more than five. I don't know what's going on. I think some might just be hosting or bots. Who knows? Uh, but uh, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, we participate with the chat, so if you guys have stuff to say, we'll... Just type it in. Is that what you're missing for the next tier? It's like individual, different emails I, that are like making comments? Is that what you're saying? Right. I'm missing uh, active chat users' sessions. So it's not just in a single night. I have to have another night, uh, and I have to have more people. So what's, what, what's the number of people it needs to be? I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. Hmm. So yeah, feel free to comment. Uh, we hit every other marker, though. I mean, we hit the, the time on stream, because we're doing three-hour sessions. And we have multiple games. Four so. times a month. Uh, we get participation. I mean, we have people in our chat all the time. It's just that have X amount of active users and X amount of sessions a month. And it's more than that. Uh, it's not... I mean, I, we just have to... I have to have another stream day. And I was trying to do that with Destiny. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, we might pick up another game. Who knows? You should still do that, Wes. But yes, you should. <laughs> I'm not saying we don't appreciate that. But I'm saying that it's something else on our part. Because only we only have four sessions... Four Twitch sessions a month. And they like... You need to have... Ten active sessions in a month with more than three people participating in each one type thing, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, I need to pick up another streaming night. So what, do we, what do you get for making that next tier? Uh, people will be able to donate instantly, like, from chat. They'll have bits that they can give us. I don't really know how that works. We can start putting, like, emojis and things that people can use in the chat and participate in. That's cool. Uh, it's the affiliate level yeah so um i can start doing sponsorships like that kind of stuff i That's think cool. at affiliate you can actually subscribe to oh yeah people have the subscribe option and not just the follow so they can say they can actually give us money to subscribe to our channel and they'll get alerts when we're on and all that kind of stuff hmm. Like, it's like five bucks a month for them, which obviously only a small percentage. And people, to. yeah, and people five bucks get... A month to subscribe to us, specifically? Right. Oh. And then we get a couple, yeah, I don't know how much we get from that. Huh. It's cost them, and people could pay subscriptions for other people. So, like, can they can gift subscriptions and all that stuff. Uh, it's just a way to... How often does that happen? Huh? What often, how often does that happen, like, in Twitch? Oh, in Twitch, it's a huge thing. Like, oh. if you watch big Twitch streamers, you'll just see people, like, gifted 20 subs because they wanted to give, you know, they threw $100 into the thing, and it just picks. You can either gift it particularly to people, or you can say, hey, there's 500 viewers on this dude's channel. Give 20 of them subs, and you can gift however many you want. It's a pretty cool thing. I obviously don't oh. watch enough Twitch. Yeah, it's it's a big thing. Like, 
Put it out there. I mean, I uh, just had no idea. I don't know about any of this kind of yeah. stuff. But, uh, like, yeah, you just watch any Destiny streamer, watch any Fortnite or PUBG streamer, and it'll just be like, ring, 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 and you'll see the message constantly come up. Uh, we have messages for it, and it'll, like, blah, 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 uh, gifted X amount of subs, <laughs> blah, 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 blah just subscribed for a year, type things, so. That's cool. Yeah. This is crazy, all the, all the things that people can do. I still, I still always just think about how, like, I used to, it used to be so weird to tell anybody... That you were playing the Yeah, 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 And yeah, now yeah. we're, we're out there for anyone, <laughs> anyone to oh see. Like, God. we could have the entire population of the internet watching us at any, you know, theoretically at any given time. <laughs> Us four. That's a big theory. <laughs> yeah, uh, us, us four weirdos playing. That's cool, though. Uh, Not as much as us, Wolfmaster. <laughs> oh. I'd love to be bigger, but... Mm. Oh, we're with, talking about the stream. Yes. Okay, us. so... <laughs> what if... Uh, I'd love to see more. I think, you know, we're getting it down. We're getting better at gaming. We're getting better at presenting. I feel like I'm getting worse at it. I don't know about you guys. Well, we're trying not to bring that up, Robert. No, it's just uh, 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 I should I need to watch more Critical Role and see how like how they flow the campaigns and things like that. And screw your hair out, screw my hair out, and start doing voices. (laughs) But uh, no, we're we're our own thing. Yeah. All right. Uh, I love it. What are you you guys doing? There's a path ahead of you. There's things that are trying to stop you. (laughs) Yeah. Are are we basically all like you can get back together now? Uh, If you want to, I'm. I'm gonna stay as a bulwark up front, uh, or I don't know what you want. Roll frost. Did you do your lay of handsing? I did. um, Well, I said I to yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'm down to that. See it if you did it. He did. Yeah. You, You know healing when you see it. You're really good at it. Did you see the level 17 divine domain power for uh, life? No, no. I'm actually, I'm actually really unfamiliar with clerics. Roll and roll. Yeah. If I choose a healing cell, it just does its max, basically. Yeah, plus he, my bonuses. He never rolls for healing anymore. It just. That's nice. That's some. Uh, it's a, it's a 66 what healing. Level is then that? you do 36. Level 17. Level se- Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Because at that point, level 17, you heal spell. You can like heal. You can just like keep a whole city alive yeah. with that shit. Right now, uh, at level eight, all clerics get the same thing. He just does an extra D8 damage. Period. On every attack, just an extra D8 for him. It's radiant damage. <laughs> that just happens. <laughs> just, just divine. Just divine, velocity. divine strike. Yeah. It's, it's only one attack a turn, but they all get it. Like the, the, forge domain does fire, life does radiant. It's just, but they all, just one attack a turn. You add a d8 to. Aren't we level eight clay? Like I, maybe it's just like I'm just too used to second in the third edition, but uh, like, are you like clo- you're like close to like. Calling in angels and stuff. So point, close, aren't we? Yeah. That's like a thing that you can. That's do. that's a seventh level spell. Oh, okay. So okay. that's pretty high up there. This is just, uh, clerics. Oh man, I love clerics. They're the coolest class. My fucking pity. Anyway. So uh, yeah, you guys are all together. You're invisible, but you can talk, and they know you're there. Uh, hey, what's up, Rizonius? Rizonius. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're they're down a dark and lonely cavern and uh people are things are trying to stop them but they're not being very effective. Well, no, yeah, I know it's kind of like cuz we don't know what we're up against so we kind of like poke around. I, I kind of made a panic charge just because like and, uh, and they scream and ran. They, they, they scream and ran, yeah. So I, I'm staying as a bulwark. I think I said that. Up yeah, front. Yeah, just yeah. just trying to be like that's right, you yeah. after my embarrassing like thank you for so much Heal it, point. Healing hands on myself and, uh, yep. You doing any healing yourself uh, for anyone else? Heal on Yasa. Okay. With my wand. Got it. Let's see. 40? Mm. Shoot. 
Frozen. I'll do 30 of it. Yeah, she'll be back to full. 10, 10. You've got yeah. 40 so. hit points back. I have I 40 I can heal from my hands. Anytime I use it, I can decide how many of my maximum points I take. I'm just going to myself to full. At least me with 10 or whatever. I rarely use this power. I might as well put me at full. So 5 plus 7. Yep, she's full. Alright, so Yasa's healed to full. And then. You only took. You took nothing. Yeah, anything. No, I caught my first two arrows and I've been invisible ever since. So that is three. What's my thing do? How much of that healing do oh, I get? Oh, uh, you get... Huh? Um, no, it's... Spell... It's something plus spell level, I think. Uh, HP equal to two plus... Two plus the spell, spell level. level. And it's, uh... It's cast as a first level, I think. Mm-hmm. So, you get three hit points back. Still okay. something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the plan going forward? Uh, we all back together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're ahead, but yeah, you can yeah, hear yeah. them talking, so you could participate in the conversation. But yeah. So what? What did we just encounter? Let's see. Well, I, I was skinny that I saw small people with arrows that screamed and ran. Small people. So. <laughs> How small are we talking about? Three to four feet. Like table height or like? Well, three to four feet. That's too big. <laughs> yep. They're tiny. Well, they're small. So three to four feet tall. I think these things How pose much of a threat. Well, How many of them did I see? Did I ten. ten. They're going the only way forward for us, right? Right. Yes, they can, they can be dangerous. They've injured us greatly before we even saw them. We don't have to kill them, but we can keep charging. They, they backed down from the fight, but we need to get over there. I we ran. just ride forward and and just ward them off. That is how we got attacked in the first place. And second, even after th- running my fastest, I just barely caught a glimpse of one. Eh? So oh. they, they can see us long before we can see them. This would be fine, but whatever the Lord wishes. We can extinguish the light and get an advantage. Plus a disadvantage. Plus a disadvantage. Yeah, he'd be disadvantaging everyone in yeah. the group besides you. At least I could tell us we're there and be like, I see his light! And everyone's like, <laughs> So we can unlight. Well, You're, uh, what? he can't really completely unlight, right? Because his weapon is... He can ask it to. Right now, it's good. kind of like, it's even like pulsing a little, just, just slightly, anxiously. Pulsing. Like, Biggie. Does it feel like you want to kick butt? All right, so so is there next? Would your plan then be to go I, completely dark and you scout ahead, and we just kind of try to follow you? No, if you want me to scout ahead, you could also stay here. I could just go scout ahead. I'm just saying we'll never sneak up on these people. Is what I was trying to say. They saw us from so far with our lights, and fired from so far that I was not even able to. To stop them until the very I mean, he isn't invisible for the next hour. You can have him just go scout ahead to see what you might be encountering and decide there. As I say, we also though, don't technically need to turn off our lights. And that's if you're not going after him, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, we could just outpace them. We, we could be faster than we well, can catch right up to them. And we got attacked initially running up on them. Yeah, because we they were, were just like, la, 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 la. because they were just sitting there. So now we can just charge. They're fleeing from us. We can just charge. They'll think that we're trying to run them down. And then we can see what, what's there, and we can decide if we're just going to keep going or, or do something else about it. Same. We could press our advantage. What if they ran on purpose and are leading us into a trap? It's possible. Then it's better that only I enter the trap. What? Or see the trap before or they the sprung. Trap. This was a minute, so. Hello! So you going up ahead? All right. So we Splitting stay, the let's, body. Let's yeah, I'm, I'm falling uh, back. I'm returning to Sabroth and uh, Yasser. So you can see, stay on 
the other side of the rocks they just use for cover and just hunker down, let yeah, him go yeah, off. We'll yeah. definitely like find sort of like cover at least to chill out at while we wait for our word. Do I need to? Yeah. Do I need to dismount? And, and okay. You just. Stand I don't know how hang good out. the cover is. Yeah. I mean, are you really seeking cover? <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, stealth with advantage. Twenty-three. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, perception with what? advantage. <laughs> perception with advantage. Twenty-eight. So <clears throat> this passageway tunnel that you're in uh, goes forward and then there's an actual barricade uh, before it seems to open up into a cave. The barricade is manned by about 20 of those things. They're all sitting there with bows looking down the, the path that you're coming and they're all like this and you hear yelling and you hear movement in the background and you see uh, how close you're getting. They can't see you at all. Uh, I'm going to approach the barricade, I guess. Okay, so you're moving up. Uh, once you get into about... Uh, your dark vision is... 60. 60. So you're getting up to like... You're 40 feet away. You can see there's a cave behind him. You see there's a lot of mo motion. You hear lots of language that you don't understand. Uh, there's a lot of these things in this cave. It looks like it might be a community or something like that. Uh, so you're at 40 feet. You can see them at the barricade and 20 feet beyond. Do you want to move closer or stay there? I'm going to move a bit closer. There's no offshoots who are saying it's here stuff or but I haven't actually reached any, like... <clears throat> You, this is, yeah, you're in this tunnel, and the only exit is this barricade. Okay. The barricade is at the entrance to the cave, or as it expands out into a cave. Gotcha. So, closer? Mm -hmm. How close? I'd like to be able to, how tall is the barricade? Um, like, their, their heads are barely sticking out. I'd like to be close so. enough that I can kind of look over the barricade into the cave. All right. Uh, so you get closer, and you're like, they're all, they're, they look spooked, they look panicked, they look, they're chittering, and they're barking at each other in a language you understand. Uh, when you get to about 30 feet, they go, <laughs> and then they all look right at you. <clears throat> I'm guessing they can smell me. Can I back up slowly, quietly? <laughs> oh, like fuck. 20 fucking arrows come out. Oh no. <laughs> the gloves of missile snare. <laughs> ah! <laughs> these, do these things not need to see? Uh, they have blind sight. Oh. At 30 feet. Fuck. <laughs> so they. Your invisibility has invisibility no does power nothing here. to the. Once you get with that, that close, yeah. Um, roll your gloves. It's not very much. <laughs> roll a natural 20, please. I can only. I'm only a D10, so. Roll a natural 20. Thirteen. Ooh. Thirteen? Okay. You're like... <laughs> like, grab three arrows out of the air. No shit. <laughs> and take no damage. It's pretty bad. It's... No, I was, arrows I was just fly all around you. Um, they're, like, reloading. They're, like, screaming. and ah! They look panicked. They just start shooting, like, just down the hallway. They don't even... Since you backed up, they don't really know where you are again. Hello. Uh, hello. Hey, it's that one guy. That one guy. You just cut so three one arrows that you were not expecting to be fired at you. <laughs> and they fired at you. Like, da, 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 da. They, they telegraphed because, like, they had a blind sense, blind sight into it. Uh, but you caught them. You're backing up. Uh, and they're just firing. They're just firing. And at this point, it's just, you know, you just tink, tink, tink. But... Kind of need to back off. <laughs> it gives you the monk ability. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. cool uh -huh. as shit. So, yeah. Uh, but as you moved up there and looked into the cavern, uh, you saw uh, many more of them, and they were, like, in a panicked scramble. 
All right. <laughs> So they were running like there was, uh, and it didn't look like they were all combatants or some such. It just looked like they were trying to clear out the area. Uh, gotcha. So I'll, I'll trot on back to the group and tell them what's going on. There's a you're like holding there's a, bunch there's of arrows. a down in front. Also, they do not seem to need to see me to attack. I am. How you say it? Who said that? I message you over here. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I just continuously make farting noises. In your <laughs> and it's a cloud of so yeah. Deceptions. So you saw no way through this pass besides through this little. It appears the only way to go is through them, unless we double back. And you don't know any other path out. This is where. Again, if you go to any other path, branch, you're going into the upper dark randomly, and who knows where you'll end up. We also, um, going back, but also involve us going through that. Would you have to ask throw a perception. fireball? I'll never see it coming. Oh, I know what it is. What am I doing? 19. Uh, the... As you got closer to the cave mouth entrance, it got colder. Um, and you and the air got less stale. Because it had been <laughs> like under... It so many things. Yeah. Skinny that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you think that you might... You know, that might be, you know, uh, where you need to go. Get out. Mm. Uh, fireball's only 150 feet. So... You have to get pretty close to the Does tell me that? Or you, or I'll get you closer if you need. Thank you. Sure. They spook easily. We only have one place to go, so... Yeah. Even if we attack them from a distance, they spook easily. We can drive them back simply by yelling or perhaps throwing a single fireball. Well, I suppose we don't have to kill them. You want me to run out there and yell, then they'll probably shoot me some more, but they, they'll run in the end, I think. Did you go through? Say, we start fucking around? Do we try the intimidation factor and just... I'll let you guys roll through and then I'll follow behind you? <sighs> try different duties. Do you know what Stay language you are? You said you didn't know what language they were speaking. Do, have you told them you didn't know what language they were speaking? You, did you never told me I didn't know what language they were speaking? I said it multiple times. Oh, they I keep speaking understand. in a language that you don't understand. They're chittering, they chat each other, they look like they're panicking. Then I have no clue. Oh, yeah, it's skinny at them. Well, then maybe they'll be scared of a fireball, then. Well, everyone's scared of a fireball. Exactly. That's why we keep you around, I guess. <laughs> <I'll say. laughs> Vive la France! Vive yeah. la France! Two gin bottles. Two gin bottles? Throw out some, uh... In game spoilers. <laughs> Je I still feel really bad about that. Two gin balls. I'm sorry. Aren't you give some stuff away? Huh? Did you give some stuff away? Yeah, Jenna. Uh, we watched it with Jenna and she wanted to talk about it. Oh, and she also yeah. really loves Kevin Smith. So Kevin Smith does entire recaps of movies. <laughs> Uh, where he re- tells you by memory what he remembers of it and what he felt during it. So he pretty much explains the entire plot of the movie. And we watched that at the bar the other night. This is fun. Oh, uh, you still do. Well, we'll go see it together, two gin bottles. You can hold each other's hands and whatever other body parts you want. I just want to sit really, really close to the screen. Who is it either? Is it's it actually you getting back from Portland. Yeah? It was talking about it. And it's the highest grossing movie ever right now. Broke every other record. So. Yeah, it broke the three-day record. It, it already, it's already got the record for most money earned from a single movie, and it's only been out for like five days. And they've been playing their game, haven't they? They're all these movies, and then they... It seems like nothing came out between... Uh, what came out? No, oh, Shazam. I know and Shazam. Aquaman. And right. Well, no, for Marvel. Oh, Marvel? Uh, it was Ant-Man and the Wasp, and... Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was the other one? Black Panther. Now between no. between oh, oh. Infinity War, there's only two. It was oh Captain Marvel and, and Man of the Wasp. So like, 
Seth not involved with that with this thing. It was, but it was before this movie. They were both set. Oh, that's before. right. Is that what sort of that whole joke? Oh, Ant Man and Wasp came out after before. Infinity War. Oh, before it, it, it came out after Infinity War, but it's set before right, right, right. Infinity. War. I was I was trying to figure out why everyone was talking about things Ant Man would do to Thanos. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna uh, Lady in the Tramp that pretzel this time, aren't you? <laughs> it's too big. Yeah. Like it, I kind of want that road trip for two yeah. next time. Are you guys together. hiding a pretzel here? No, last time I saw, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, hiding a I saw a movie. I saw a movie with two gin bottles a couple months. We saw us together. Oh really? And That's I got this nice. plate of food and it was a sampler. It's, a, it's at the Roadhouse, the cinema, and the pretzels always are shaped. It's about that thin, you know. Get some cheese sauce, no big deal. For some reason, the plate I got. They brought me the world's it's biggest weird. goddamn soft press like oh, fucking the guy, the guy that was like last this time I saw big, it again. right? Yeah. Well, I got it and I was kind of like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> and then I picked it up and was kind of excited, so I kind of like turned and looked. And <laughs> two gym models sitting there, like, too. "Yeah." He looked over and he's like, "The fuck is that?" <laughs> like, so I just like over arm dipped it in my cheese. I'm like, "Oh, oh <laughs> it. Yeah. it was." If you bad. turn off the sound right now yeah. and, and watch the last two minutes, that's some pure entertainment right there. Oh, you know those little flashy things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, what's the plan here, guys? There's a barricade. There's twenty little tiny archers, panicky archers. Yep. Whoever just wants to spook him away, move on. Well, he, yeah, as you say, they they do not seem to be violent as much as they are protective. Yeah, they're just they scary. Are, this place is I mean, scary you as shit. You can thaumaturge your voice and try to uh, from a dis- scare them yeah, out. Yeah, so you can boom through the caves. From a distance, we are outnumbered, but we can scare them easily. But they will be back, and in greater numbers. Well, I can just travel through and start skewering them. Uh, yeah, no, no spoilers. We're not doing any spoilers. So... I was just threatening spoilers to two gym bottles. Um. I hope you're not boring. Check it through. We should take a nap. We should take a nap. Let's just take a nap, guys. <laughs> yeah, that hut, dude. That hut would be one of those things where, like, I, mean, I just keep wanting to lay in it. Wait until she gets to the mansion. Yeah. So I feel like probably using my thaumaturgy to like kind of just yell at them then yeah do that obviously we won't know from here what exactly they do unless they yell back at us which perhaps um make me an intelligence Stupid That's the thing I'm sensitive about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is your spell cast- no, casting attribute. Oh, uh, that's a pretty good. Square for us. Like, wait, hold on. <laughs> you never could master anything. Um, <laughs> you know, what? Eleven. Wow. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I've been rolling all these fucking stealth checks and perception checks. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you. No, you You're pass every offering up to thaumaturgy, try to intimidate them out of your way. Yeah, and then... Or maybe even just parlay with them. They do not speak any language I know. They probably trade in shit chips. And I know orc now. You know orc, you know... Elvish. Elvish. And um, I know the motherland tongue. And you don't know what they speak. Oh, yeah, sir. Well... He's the only one that's heard them speak. So you don't know if you, any of you speak a language. You, you oh, yeah, not, you, you could It's even. not orc. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Gonna so you're going to, like, move forward in the cavern a bit? Yeah. Because he could tell you about where, you know, they'll be able to hit you from. I'm ready to die in front of him, like, Oh, Saffa, good down! I keep looking at the camera more. Camera. People. Um, oh, yeah. I'm actually going to do one you of my... You need to look at the camera more, or you need to look at the people more? I don't know. Like, I think I need to look at the camera more, bro. I think you do, too. I think when you address this directly during... Well, I don't know. When you're doing story and direct, and direct address, I think it should be through there. You should, like, you know, like... So you guys find yourself in a cave. What are you going to do next? Like, that would probably work, because you can ask it directly and then look at us, and that might... I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I mean, like, uh, Mercer and all them, they have cameras, like, right at them every time. 
So you're yelling out. What are you yelling? I'm actually gonna yell out. I think he's uh, like stop firing at us. They're not here to harm you. Like you know, my, my typical like, hey, we're good guys. Don't uh, uh, chill out. What language? Common. Cantonese. Oh well, yeah, right now common because I don't I don't know what the hell these things are. Well, you know from what he said, you know that they weren't speaking common. You don't know that they don't speak common. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know that they, they're they natively not speaking common. Oh, well, I would do common mm. first. Yeah, I mean, that's the language sure. the people outside mm. Tiamat to speak, right? Uh, so you, yeah, knows. you yell that down. It echoes through the caverns. Uh, you hear the clattering of arrows hitting the floor as they try to shoot at you. I think they might be stupid, <sighs> my lord. All right, so... Can try other languages. I was gonna say, like, I'll do it again, and just me, me, me. I'd probably do. What's more, I'd with probably feeling. do English next. Okay. I don't know why I would do Draconic because I would. You uh, would just be yelling at. Yeah, he would have known if they were speaking Draconic. Yeah. So in broken Elvish, a tiny little voice screams out, <laughs> "What you want?" Guys, I think they speak Elvish. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't speak any Elvish. The real fast was like, no way. <laughs> the, the language actually sounds different than what you heard them speaking. Mm. A little bit. Um, does I also speak Elvish? No. Oh, are they? Well, are they like those weird, dark, black, sooty dwarf, the Drugan? What? We never found out what Dwergar. Dwergar. Are these like the the elven version, like like the, how they went to the dwarves we came with? Are these? No, like, everyone knows what drow are. Are these drow? <laughs> so you're looking at me. I feel like you're at. You should be asking the one person that's seen them. These it's, are definitely not drow. They seem too small to be a drow. Oh, I think you, I think you met a drow. Yeah, we've killed them. We have. Oh yeah, you killed them. You know it's not drow. Well, oh, he, you're the only one that's seen them. I mean, I thought, it's, I thought it was skinny <laughs> that they were little. Yeah, they're tiny. So, so you know that they're not drow. <laughs> Here's the draw babies. Just a pass through, by the way, is my answer. Passage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you turn off light! Uh, if we turn off the lights, are you not gonna shoot at us? Did you just say turn off the lights? Did you say turn off the lights? He didn't, you don't know what he said. Oh, he's speaking he's a language. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, There's some like, sure. Sure. I don't know what he said, but I felt felt not sincere. (laughs) (laughs) Like the the entire party is like that last one. Something. (laughs) Did he just lie in it? Oh, sorry. That was a very loud laugh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I could... <laughs> this one, I could skinny to these guys, like, what we've been talking and what just Okay, so skinny the conversation to you guys. Riveting. Do we kill them, then? Perhaps I could bring you far enough in the dark to use your ring of the ram to blow the... Oh shit, I like that. I like better. <laughs> <laughs> the ring of the ram is like 30 feet? 60 feet? Uh, it's pretty close. Now, can we finally, for we can one, see, as long as it's longer than 30 One feet, time, can we finally uh, use this amazing feet. power? Yes. Wait, yeah. maybe one can, time. He used, he's have, used it all the time. I've already vision. forgotten about it. They have blind vision at 30 feet. Right? Blind sight, 30 blind feet? Sight. Yeah, yeah, so look. we could go up to like 35 feet and you could just blow them in their barricade down. <laughs> if find out they can see that shit coming. Because they have dark vision for longer. They have dark vision and blind sight. So yeah, you're the only one that probably get close. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, we know that. I mean, because they know that you can see you. They saw the light earlier. Oh uh, yeah. They saw the light at 500 feet. If he gives, what is the properties of the ring of the ram? Would I be able to use it effectively? How you have to just attune it. Try it and see what happens. You have to have a day to do that. No, so I can't use it. 
Let's see what's well, a tricky pin. Yeah, I think it's just my So does anyone oh, actually God. think there's a chance we can trust these things? I mean, <laughs> what happens if... Uh, what happens if they attack us? We turn on all of our lights again right in the middle of them. If that happens... <laughs> butcher if, them. If that happens, the rest of you ride. I will stay behind and spook them off. Send them back in the little rabbit holes. And I'll rejoin you. This plan sounds terrible. All right, so... Right. I'm going uh, to go back. Huge. If they're close enough to shoot at us and they betray us, then we're close enough to fireball them. Uh. <laughs> Fireball has a range of 300 feet? Is no. that what their short bows do? No, but they're like firing just blindly at that. I mean, mm -hmm. they'd wait for you to get closer, but she's just saying that she'd still be within one move in a, a blast, even at a long range. I'm just saying, just, I think he also admits that they don't, they don't seem evil, they just seem territorial. It's just... Huh. Brush through they, them and... They did, on. they did. What? <sighs> Nothing. Uh, you can, uh, like, even if even if you say it, like, you may try to, uh, don't you have to take good and evil mm -hmm. on that thing? If you get up close enough to them, if you try to do their plan, get up close, then detect if they're evil, that would give you, uh, like, okay, maybe we don't want to do this before you go into the cave. And you have that as well, right? That's yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we saw if you get that close to them, right? It's yeah, it's fine. 30 feet. We're taking all their enemies and shit. But, uh, yeah. If you're within 30 feet and they start shooting at you, we'll just then them. you'll yeah, just turn on your lights. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not terribly concerned about the danger. What's your answer? I'm going to yell out. All right, I'll yell Give my thaumaturgy back. We'll turn off our lights and we'll head towards you. No weapons drawn. Uh, <clears throat> Are you gonna say any like caveats or add any embellishment to it? You wanna threaten them a little bit? Um, Get your point across? We'll lie to them. Probably like. If, if you betray. Is it like it's steel? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's here for. We need the other hand. If this was, if this was just the adventures of Savroth and Rofrost, this would be a fucking doomed adventure. I yeah, think yeah, I'd make all these be bad plans. Already. Oh my god, it'd be bad. No, it's it's critical that you. Especially, uh, yeah, like don't don't fire upon us, otherwise we will immediately. Put our lights back on, and we will it's, be uh, at odds. Intimidation yeah. with advantage. Tell them we're, we're passing through one way or another. Yeah, we're passing through one way or another. Intimidation. Uh, who's the big bearded guy who comes in? Also plays D&D. Scott. Jeff. Jeff. Jeff needs to watch this, so he knows what he's getting into. If we ever run something with him. Oh, Geeks and Sundry is streaming Dungeons and Dragons ah, <laughs> on sweet. Wednesdays. No. We'll, we'll, we'll send games here then. Give us a couple uh, months, we'll, we'll beat him. Uh, what's it? Also, where did that information come it from? It just popped up in my Twitch notification. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, 15. Everyone, 15. if you want to see a great D&D &D game, go over to Geeks and Sundry channel right now. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're bored today. of geeks and stuff, I don't know, you I don't know if it's hers. Uh, she had a Deborah, uh, Deborah Ann Wall, the girl that plays this, the legal secretary in Daredevil, the blonde chick, mm -hmm. uh, she runs a D&D &D game, and she's had Kevin Smith, she's had uh, Matthew Lillard. Uh, Who is that? Are you talking about Felicia Day still? Or? No, Deborah Ann Wall. Deborah Ann Wall. Deborah Ann Wall. Oh, yeah, uh, she... She's the, if you've watched the Daredevil TV show, she's the blonde. Oh, no shit, yeah. really? And she runs D&D &D with Geek and Sundry on their channel. No shit. Uh, Relics and Rarities. Uh, and, like, literally, she has, they have a room full of, it looks like an antique shop. 
and every item in the room is a magic item, and before they go out on a mission, they each get to pick, each character gets to pick a item, and they don't know anything about it until they pick it and go use it for that adventure, and then they have it in their self so they can go pick an item that they know what it is and what it does, or they can try to pick a new item before yeah. they go. That's cool as hell. Yeah, that's on uh, Geeks and Sundry and, uh, and on YouTube. <laughs> what? I was just noticing trying to see something grab things from the wall. Like, no, no, I just noticed that that was, that was turned in a reflective way right at uh, the camera. So uh, there's been a big ball of light behind my head most of the game. What about you, beautiful? Okay. Uh, what'd you get? 18. Okay. Uh... <laughs> There's, you know, like, yeah, 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 we can all shoot. Well, I'm convinced. What do they say? <laughs> they say they're not going to shoot us. Wonderful. <laughs> so, and, and, I, and I threaten that if they do, we will turn on our lights and we will be at odds with one another. Damn right. I want to, can you, I, I ask my mount telepathically, can you see? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you had that thing the entire span of the game. It's the first time you've ever talked. <laughs> I get it's, it. Most of the time it's in his pocket. Yeah, I get it. It's just funny. <laughs> I don't even know if I can. I just, I just thought, I just like looked at it and think, thought at it. And then it just shook his head like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so is that what you're going to do? Uh, turn off your lights. Uh, you try to tell Platinum Wing to turn off its light, and it's like, mm, no, I, I'm kind of kind of dims a little bit. And it's like, comes back to brightness. Like, you sure? I I I, I think to it like you don't have to. We'll put it in the bag. Do you say you don't have to? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't go off then. Oh shit. I well, I said I think I think to it. Yeah. I didn't uh -huh. say it. So All right. Okay. Doesn't uh, Rofrost put that thing in the bag? What? I said what? I say the same thing. <laughs> uh, sh sh I'm afraid this, the magic is more powerful than that paltry bag. What if I poke a hole in it? An entire dimensions worth of other shit we keep putting in that spills out. What if we die in the hallway? <laughs> Are you worried about that? Hey, you almost died earlier. We weren't no, even there. You took I'm 40 afraid. damage. I'm he has fine. 89 I'm at, hit points. I'm at max again. I'm <laughs> fine. Uh, All right. Well then I we, just told you, like, I, I... Then we betray the entire fucking thing we just said, and we walk forward with this lit fucking lights right now. No, I know. Uh, yeah. He literally just was like, hey, turn your stuff off. We'll move forward I safely. asked you to. Well, you were like, but don't do it, really. So now we're just going to walk say, forward. He didn't say that out loud. No, no, yeah. That's fine. We're no. just going to walk forward with the light, though, because that's what you're doing. You're going to make us walk forward with the light after, right after we said we're not doing it. didn't, like, he didn't, like, command it to. Just, that's right. just what he was thinking. There you go. Well, I mean, we can have a... Another fun split of the party. Yeah. I mean, we're, you we're can't gonna... go forward with the light on. They, you told them you were turning your light off. What do I do? Do we, I stay behind? What do I do? Go for a stay. Right. You go ahead, and then me and Nyasa. What am I doing when I get up ahead? How's I'm he taking, I'm the taking, cave, then? I'm taking on the rest of all these things. Why don't you just tell your damn I'm just going to walk around and pop everything's well, nets, remove you the barricade, climb into the cave, yes. find a rope, turn to, your guys' you lights on, to. bring you back to the no, cave. No, no. I, I can't even I follow just, that plan. It was just what Rofan was thinking. That stupid right. plan won't work because of this light. He's cursed. But then, it didn't go off when you thought that. Okay, I was like... I say like, yeah, it didn't ask you. Please turn it off. Just stop shining. We have to do a thing. And then it says again, are you sure you want me to do that? Yeah, it just, it like, winks, like, ding, 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 ding. Okay. Like, well, I, I seem to be getting orders to do it, so like, it's like, no, seriously, could you care that stop? Uh, it slowly, begrudgingly oh, oh, oh. starts to unlight itself. Or if you don't want to do that, just put it in the fucking bag and it can stay lit in the I'm not putting this in the bag. All right, well. It begrudgingly goes down and it's like now just like shining a little bit in the darkness. 
You can stay right here. You stay right here. <laughs> so you can't see, but absolutely everything can see you. Wonderful. <clears throat> All right. Well, now we have to. Do we keep right. this stand? You're the only one that can see, buddy. I see. I get that, but I thought he got his little light. Can he see? No, no, no he can't. On. It's oh, like live. Yeah. All right. So less than a we're phone in darkness. Light. You were in darkness. You're so the only I'm one. Get off my, I'm not on my horse, but I'm gonna grab you guys get on your horses. I'll lead the reins. I asked in the middle. You don't have to lead reins, I mean they're whatever. I'll bring them forward. Chargers. Horses. You can be on your horse if you want. And they're just the uh, onyx chargers, they just go forward at a pace. Alright, let's do that then. I'll go forward first. So, Alright. Well you start heading forward. Uh, the barricade has been moved out of the way. Uh, there is nothing around, like nothing in your 60 night dark vision as you enter the cave. No one. They're all beyond your sight. You hear them scampering through the caverns and this and that. Uh, as you get to the barricade, you do see one of these things is standing kind of like past the barricade in your line and you know, when he sees you and you can see him, he just points and you can look over and see another exit to the cavern, which has a faint, faintly lighter uh, sliver to it. So it looks like that goes to the outside. Savaroth, one points towards another direction. It appears to be a way out. You want to detect evil? Yeah, I'm Either just telling you that in case there's some reason you want to speak with the thing. Yeah, we can do that. You don't want to talk to it? No, he's got some detective. Oh, oh. Uh, no. No, he can't detect evil. No, they are. There is no evil in your presence. He can't detect evil. No. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. Well, I have it. It's on my character sheet. <laughs> you can certainly no, uh, not try. There is no evil in your presence. Right, and so they're pointing to mm. a direction that isn't on the main path. Well, I'm just well. They're, they're this is a turn. cave. Yeah, they're telling us a way to turn. A massive the cave. cavern. And I'm skinning that it looks like, you know, with my dark vision, there's a little bit of dull like lights coming through that. Like we might be able to get out this way. Yeah, we're trying for. Mm-hmm. Gross. That's not grass. Those are the things that we ran into when we shoot arrows. I know. That's what's right in front of me. Oh, they grass. That was the name of the orc boy. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I do remember grass. Uh, yeah, they're, so they're pointing you the way through this cave, or at least where they want you to go. This massive cavern. But you can't... Come I, you only have 60 feet. This is a big-ass cavern. You can't see. Like, you're just in this little mm-hmm. well of do you think vision. Do you think Gris would be down there? Okay. You think he'd be okay down there? We know exactly where he is, but he's, he's gone. He's so far back. Then those dwarves said that they were going to kill all the orcs down here. They ruined them. That's the conversation you're having in the middle of all this? That's what we... It's, yeah. It's You'd have had that in the days of travel. Well, let's continue forward. All right. You don't know my character. I'm gonna bring up something completely irrelevant, irrelevant in this situation. Yeah, I just, no, I just picture the in the cinema of my head, just like kind of quiet, like we're just moving, and just like just just having some cautious conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, so you move towards that where they pointed out. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll, I'll lead everybody through there. Again. All right, you lead them through the cave. Uh, from your edges of your vision, you see that this seems like to be community. There's like little huts and you know places set up uh, places of civilization you know racks of things and there's no campfires there's no fires at all in here at all no lights no torches and like not even that they're put out it's just that they're not here Hmm. so uh, you make your way to that sliver which is just a little another tunnel out and it starts to get colder and colder until there's snow and then 
uh, moonlit sky and the howling of wind with a flurry of snow is in front of you and an exit to the cavern out into the wintry southern slopes of the World Spine Mountains. You can turn on your lights. It's already been in you. Okay. So, it's like, well, we'll definitely not need our lights at this point. Yep. Saloon is smiling down upon you. Is that the name of one of them? The, the moon. Oh, yeah. okay. The saloon. Was there one now? There's only one. There's only ever been one in Forgotten Realms. Is there? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a second one. Nah, it has. Saloon has a trail. I thought it was Soon in Saloon. No, nah, Soon is the goddess of. Beauty. No, it's Saloon like night. Has a tail I thought Soon had like a. Shar? Shar. Shar, that's right. And then she does not have a moon. I thought she had like a professional dark, dark moon. moon. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Who knows? You can't see it if it's there. Uh, that's true. So the moon has a tail like a comet? Uh, it does. It, there's actually. Stuff um, it's called it. the Tears of, Sol- of Saloon. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's neat. What a shitty place, right? Uh, it's, like, really cool to, like, look up there and think about that stuff, but then they came out with Spelljammer, and they actually tell you what it is, and it's like, mm, this is fucking stupid. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you know, it's so <laughs> I like the fact that, what was that? That's Saloon. With oh, the, yeah. With, with the, the tears. The broken, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's also another rendition of it. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh... Ugh. So you're out on snowy slopes. A full moon is looking down at you with the tears trailing beyond it. Uh, it's a cold, wintry mountain side. R- Frost is going to just be, try to be as vigilant as he can. Like, he's expecting... Dragons or cultists or something to to be just watching, like for, they they've tracked us so well. Who knows? They might be able to magically scry us. I don't know. He's just, he's just gonna be like, all right, we're back out. Well, you also so know that gonna... that gnome that's after you is specifically tailored to transportation and scrying, like teleporting and scrying. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good on you for doing that. Uh, perception. Okay. All of us or just him? <laughs> uh, I mean, all of you. Uh, oh. Natural one. Oh, okay. Are we all actually all yeah. yeah. Good thing Robert's dice is still in there. Welcome. I'm here for your support. 23. 26. Okay. Uh, it seems quiet out here. There is some... Uh, the f- there's some footsteps like the snow out here has been disturbed lots of little groups of footsteps have seemed to have come and gone and trudged through the snow so there's little pathways uh, at the I- exit of the cave you also see what seems to be like guard posts that those things were using to watch out here but there's none there they vacated the area for you guys to get out um, so you see like little like trails through the snow where these things have gone and come yeah. back. Uh, but where do you guys head? I mean, you are looking kind of straight south, and the mountain range stretches out to either side of you. Where the hell are we? We have left the southern gates of the, the, name of the mine. It's not a mine. No, the upper, upper, upper dark. Upper dark, yeah. Uh, we don't know where in Faerun we are, though. Really. Nope. You are on the southern face of the spine of the world. We, we, I mean. That's all you we know. We hope. Like, we were under, we were in a tunnel for days. Like, we could be an arm for all we know. Right. Like. Yeah, you can be. I was going to say it's. So, like, this is the spine of the world. You were, you were up here somewhere, and you don't even know exactly. So you're now somewhere here. We should get to high ground. Back up the mountains? I mean, you're on a mountain. <laughs> I know, we need to, like, we need to assess. It's, well, yeah, so, yeah, Rofa says that, and if he gets, if he gets Yeah, you're, just, you're looking down yeah. on land and snow before so he, you, and he, foothills. So he'll just shake his head, it's like, we need to assess where we are before we can decide where to go. If we can, otherwise. Yeah, it's snowy mountainside. Yeah. 
Bob is still in the spot of the world. Well, no matter what, if we go south, we'll either hit a wood or a road. Yeah. And south would be like. And that's Sword, Sword Coast, yeah. Yeah, where you're pointing now. I mean, you'll eventually unless, find something crisscrossing. Unless this is possibly north and there's. It is. Ashers in, yeah. on the north side of the mountains, past the. It's definitely not north you're facing. It's definitely not? Okay. I said it. I said it like a hundred times. <laughs> right. said, what is that movie with Will Ferrell? I didn't want it. I said it like a hundred times. Teledagon Nights. Is it? I have no idea. Let's go. So you guys heading south? <laughs> Are you going to Heading follow any the tracks process. of these little things left, or right, so forge off on your own? What kind of what do these tracks look like? Do they I mean, it's just furrows through the snow. Like there's snow, oh, and these like, things like, like a like bunch past, of people, like, like right. yeah, okay, that people trails have, trails that a bunch of a group of something moved through the snow. Yeah. Could be, it's not like, it's not but like they're like coming. Footprints. It's just like yeah, and yeah. it's coming to and from this cave. Yeah. So most likely those little things. I'll start walking down the left one until somebody says stop, bro, for us. Like, shall we? This looks good as any. Like, you mean the left one, like, path of tracks or something? Yeah, just a left path in front of us. Instead of south. This is our chance to let him. Well, I mean, they all go south, don't they? Well, some of them go east and west. Some yeah. of them go south and okay. meander off east and oh, west. Okay, well, if we can tell that just from these trailheads, then, yeah. then obviously there's just the one that goes south. You're just leaving, you're not talking to Sabroth or anything? No, I just said, like, we, we might as well go. And I, and I said, like, unless someone says something else, like, yeah. Pitter patter. Okay. So, you're going to head south. But you want to follow one of these trails. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm <clears throat> going to follow the tracks of... Unless none of them head directly south. None of them head, like, straight south. But there's ones that go south. Yeah. And kind of meander. It's, a, it's still snow, right? Yeah, it's still snow. It's a, yeah, it's taking a path of least resistance, really. I'm not making a strategic choice mm -hmm. here. All right, you uh, head south, following one of these paths. Uh, again, like this is mountain, you go down, up, over, around. It's cold, you're back in your full winter gear, you're up on your chargers. Uh, and... Are you scouting ahead in the darkness? Sure. Or at least are you up ahead yeah, in this kind of a format? Not the cave anymore. No, I don't know, what are we... You have the marching orders. The real fast is I'm about to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm about oh, to piss in the woods, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's pissing in the woods. You're scouting around. Uh, so make me a perception. Gotta do it. Twenty-five. Okay. Um. <clears throat> there's some sparse trees here and there. You again. It's really hilly, foothilly. You're going up and down. Yes, yeah, so it would be, be me, Rofrost, uh, Sarah. And Sorry. he said, stop to relieve himself. You're taking a little bit of a break, and you're just kind of heading out. And you hear the faintest of uh, snow crunching ahead of you. Can I tell from this distance or what the sound was, if it's like f foot or horse or creature? Uh, it... It is definitely something, it's not just a f snowfall randomly or anything like that. It is something crunching down snow. Uh, you can't tell much more than that. All right, then I'll, I'll halt, message you, halt everybody. There is something ahead. It moves in the snow. I think this is one of those instances where you can go ahead and find out what the heck this is, or... I can do that. <laughs> All right. Well, at this point, I don't, I don't know what other option is besides this. We have advantage. Going straight on. 26. Okay. Uh, 
Rorschach comes back. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys are taking a little break in the snow. You found a little copse of trees to hang out here. You're relieving yeah. yourself, having a snack. Uh, it's, We've made it it's out night, like days. Almost, How many this, days? almost at this point, like it's night, but your sleep schedule is so messed mm. up. You're like, kind of like, oh, we could stop, we could do that, but you want to get away from the cave. Yeah. You don't want to be near those things. Uh, so he's he's gone off and scouted while you're taking a little break, uh, and he's well. So you're moving forward. You're kind of coming up, and. Uh, what was your perception? It was 20... 20 uh, my perception is 10 bonus. But I rolled a 26 for stealth right now. Okay. Um, so you're coming around, like, coming around the trees, and, like, you hear... Like, you stop and listen, you hear a little bit of the faint crunching, this and that. And then it's like cat and mouse now between you and this... Whatever this is. You move, it moves, you move, it moves. And then you kind of, like, come around a tree and peek out there and crouch down you almost miss it the first time you see it and your eyes focus there is a large silver wolf like humanoid sitting in the snow looking at you wolf like humanoid like a werewolf like a, or like an altered beast yes gotcha an altered beast is that what you just said yeah. he did that is that a choice. inspiration yeah that is sick <laughs> there's a couple of wolves in there and it's looking at you also, that quote's from Step Brothers. I didn't want salmon. I said it like four times. Hmm. Inspiration. Okay. Um, man. I've probably never seen that. I don't know. We've seen werewolves before. And you You've that's what never... Yeah, you have. Yeah. And this looks like a werewolf to me. It Remember looks that? more than just like a werewolf. It looks like the werewolf you've seen. Okay. No uh -oh. way. Then I'll call out to it and at least say, ask its name. <clears throat> Do you Fantasy. remember its name? Uh, he says it looks like her. God damn it. it I have it. I have Something it. Lupina. It's Lupina. It's Lupina. 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 Cecia. Cecia Lupita. Yeah. Alfresca. Rosetta. That's why. That's written in here anyway. I blame Rofros. That's fair. Yeah, you know what? That encounter is missing from the book. I have it here somewhere. The Hunters? How? Yeah, the Hunters on our way to, before we went to Castle Never. Remember we had to get to the yeah, ruins of Never? Well, I know where we met him. Yeah. That mine is a little too abbreviated. Never okay, so, winner. So Cecia, Never I'll winner. call out her name. Cecia. Oh, he did say this Cecia. Is the, Why are we this is to the cliff notes of yours, so if it's not in there, it's not in here. Or maybe you take back cliff notes. Who knows? I couldn't find like, it. Literally no, I know I wrote Cecia. Though. You should write it now if you have it. <laughs> well, look at you. <laughs> uh, you call out to Cecia? Like, do you call out her name specifically, or do you call out who was there? Like, kind of a... You know. Oh, yeah, it just looks like her. Maybe all werewolves look alike. I mean, you can barely tell humans apart, so... Well, <laughs> I can. <laughs> Is that where we get tiara? I can see that it sees me, so it won't. I mean, just being like, Bleh, it won't do anything. So yeah, I'll say the name says you. Zero Nax. No shit. Ah. Is it where you tiara? It is. It's just wearing a circlet. Because no, she can control when she changes. Ah, oh, yeah. I thought, was, oh, I thought I was like, going to get you. Like, tiara. I'm like, oh, tiara. So it was funny about rewatching that session is how much you hated him for having a companion because he was carrying around Cecia. He, she was riding on his horse, and you're like, we don't want this girl here. This and that. Like, we should oh, get rid yeah. of her. Like yeah. you. And it's like, and every time you meet anything roguish, you try to like, this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> like how, how badly you want a companion, and you were trying to snuff him having yeah. a, a sidekick. <laughs> she told me wonderful things. So yeah, uh, she s stands up. She makes a, a a little howly sound, and then a whole bunch of shapes step up, stand up from the snow. Uh, 60 feet away they're oh, like fuckers. they're all in white furs and big ass heavy bows and crossbows mm -hmm. and axes a uh, whole little Oathgardy hunting party is up here 
fuck would she be doing it? Okay. This is where she's not even there. I'm not, it's just far, yeah, it's the far north. Uh, yep. um, uh, and that's where we're going to end this session what? tonight. What yeah. time is it? 1230. 1230. Apparently, we were told before on our initial trip up here that, like, this is where she was at. There, yeah, yeah. Like, that we know that. Her people are somewhere in this area. Oh, they know right. exactly was, where. But we talked about the strategy of like, what if yeah, we go we that way? Like, yeah, yeah, we came go across there and try to find. That's why I was saying, does this yeah. does this werewolf look familiar? It looks like something I've seen before. Holy I shit! I wasn't. I didn't boys. think to be like, do I? Is that Sassy? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I forgot. It's yeah, right. yeah. So uh, you have come out on the southern side of the Spine of the World Mountains, back into the company. Of friends, uh, of Cecia. I forgot Sessia what it's Lupin. like to meet friends in this adventure. Well, we, met, we met friends right before we went into the, the cavern. No, I know. Oh, oh, those dwarves are kind of assholes. Yeah, but they're still, they're still <laughs> fed us. We're still to oh, sleep. I wanted to make a note. I forgot to. I didn't do it. I, I wanted saying. to make a note to, to apologize for telling them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> before, before we were dealing with the Druga. Dwarger. Dwarger. Remember, I was yeah. like, yeah. All right. What were you saying? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I've been talking. I was I was actually talking about the town that we ran into before we went into the cave. Bryn Shander. Bryn Shander. Yeah. Is those the dwarves you're saying were dicks? Oh no no no. I know the, the, guys the fishing with town. Us the dicks. fishing town. Yes. Yeah yeah. And the dwarves we brought with us weren't super super helpful either. No, they were dicks. Company of true. Allies. So yeah, uh, that's where we're doing it. You've encountered Cessia hunting curse party. Curse of Malak. There it is. Yep, the curse of Malak. Lycanthropy. Yeah. Bad cliff notes. You were right. I'm trying remember. to find out if I have Moonstone that might, that might be one of the pages too where I was like, I can only read all this. Blessing shit. of Saloon. I, I check and scratch this shit. <laughs> Sometimes some of these are like really neat like drawings and stuff, and then like these like six pages here, the one before, this one, and this one are just sure. dense. They're like so dense. It's it's totally just like just visual reminders to myself when I look at it. Robert, I take us out. Take us out. Where? Where are we going? Um. Wow. Hey. Uh. Thank you all. Thanks. Uh. To Jim Bottles with Sonius with Master and then wait, who else was here? There was someone else. Though. Yeah, we had I don't know if he's saying. Thank you all for bottles. watching out this little adventure. Here. Well, these were just people that were talking. Ego Stripper, Wolf Master, obviously. White yeah. Which is always great. But there were some other people that were. That yeah. Were there crazy. were five viewers at once. I don't know how this many are right the, now. This is the the beginning of a new great. chapter in this campaign. Yeah, we've been going on. I, I think we're about 40 sessions in this campaign. And we are just now finally starting chapter 3, I think this is this now. This is chapter 3. We ended it with the forging of this weapon. Yeah, that was the end of chapter 2. So thanks for joining us at the beginning of the, of the new... The new chapter, and uh, we look forward. Uh, we are playing next week, I believe. Yes, uh, play next week and then next week, and then you'll be yeah. leaving us unfortunately for the next week, and we'll do the little one shot adventure. I do want to check out that game. Maybe that could be a fun thing other than just doing a D and D thing. Yeah, D and D is what everyone knows. Yeah, I mean, especially since Caitlin hasn't run anything else. We got but two weeks D &D. to figure out Let's something fun it. for that. But, but uh, thank you all for joining us for this evening. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. Have a good night. Good night.